Sports. It's time. It is that time. Time for Styles and Watkins. You can join the show by texting 916-339-1140. Find us on YouTube at Sacktown Sports 1140. It's time for Alan Styles and Chris Watkins. Yes, yes, yes. On a Monday. Styles and Watkins, Sacktown Sports. Chris, I gotta contain myself because it's not <laughs> game day. Because I want to turn this thing up. I know. But I don't want to turn it up too soon right. because we got to tomorrow. We, we we going all the way. It's all the way up. <laughs> but for today, we got to break down how the Kings got here. What a win, even as a nine seed. What a win. And packing up the Warriors, what that would mean for the Kings. Would it make you feel better about the season? Would it make you feel more confident going into next season? We'll talk about the Warriors and how they ended up here. Neither team thinks that they should be here. But guess what? <laughs> You're both here for a reason. Because you tricked off two. The the combined number of tricked off games between the Kings and the Warriors. Yeah. Ridiculous. Yeah. Ridiculous. And you messed around, and now you're about to find out. We'll see who ends up ending their season tomorrow. Hopefully it's not the Kings. But it's going to be tough. The Warriors are healthier, just like Jason said. They're healthier. They've been playing more consistent basketball. They feel like they're similar to the Lakers and not that they made any moves at the trade deadline, but they figured some things out with your boy, Trace Jackson Davis, playing more. And, you know, they're, they're confident. They're already – I mean, by the way, by the way, we're, I'm up this morning. Yeah, why don't I just fire up some Bay Area radio? Why don't I just see what they're talking sure. about? Over there, right. they're already they talk- talking about the Giants. They maybe, all, you know, struggling. Oh no! no oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. The, well, the, the Giants off season. Or something. I mean, seriously, that's that's a conversation for a different day. <laughs> but oh, don't count. Don't, it's the same thing. Don't count us out. Don't count us out. We get back. They are. They're not even counting the Kings game. They're 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 focused yeah. on. They're already can, in the eight seed, right? They, yeah, yeah, they're focused. They they are they're literally about OKC. No, they're already. literally <laughs> game planning OKC. You hear that? You hear that, oh, De'Aaron? You hear that? They're come on, not five. even. T- come on, Where five. Are you at ten? They said they said you're not built like that. Five. They're not even worried. They just they're gonna come down yeah. to their to their. Not right. even taking a plane. Their bus ride. No, you, you know, know you want to own you you want to own different you know you know pieces of pieces of property in the Bay and Northern. They're just coming up to their rental property yeah. in Sacramento. Okay, they're gonna check in, make sure everything's yeah. good, and then they're off. Yeah. And then that's how they're treating us. Yeah. That's how they're treating it. Chris Watkins, how you doing? Uh, good. I, th- I wouldn't sell yourself short. I think you've got enough energy for two days. I think okay. you, can, I think you can keep it up. It's, it's if this <laughs> thing is going to go longer, I'm going to need you. So we're, we're going to, I got gonna it. Try. Yeah. I know. I know you got it for sure. It's uh yeah, you know, feeling, feeling all right. Like, you know, obviously the warriors is a team that I, I think we're all sick of seeing. I mean, even though we haven't played them, uh, in a while, it felt like for a minute there, they were the only team that was on our schedule. So, uh, of course, this season was always going to come down to the Warriors. And, and you know, it's it's a I know a lot of Kings fans out there probably don't feel great about the Kings opportunity. But at the very least, if, if you want to look at the the opportunity that the Kings have in front of them, they've got a chance to right all the wrongs from last year. The entire series, it all went down to that game seven in your arena. Well, now you have a very rare opportunity to make up for that game. Not a lot of times in sports do you truly have a time to right a wrong or to or to get, to get an opportunity that, that you failed in last time. Uh, you have that right in front of you. You can take down Golden State, and then what's in front of you? Either match up against a team that you're 0-5 against and definite mm-hmm. and also – really screwed you because if new Orleans would have won yeah. the Kings would have had two cracks at this thing on Sunday. Uh, so you either play new Orleans or you have an opportunity to play the, the oldest foe that, that the Sacramento era has, and that is the Los Angeles Lakers. So it is a really cool opportunity that the Kings have in front of them where nobody believes in them. Now I, no. I do think that there's even a large portion, I would say probably greater than 50% of even the Kings contingency I would say doesn't believe that this team should be the favorites in this matchup. Uh, and and they have an opportunity to prove everybody wrong. The NBA, if you listen to national media, they're saying the Kings are by far the worst team of this play-in group. None of that matters in a one-game play-in situation. So you just got to do whatever you can to get these wins done. And, uh, man, how crazy will it be uh, if the Kings can 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 do what nobody believes they can and, and get two wins here against – 
against teams that they frankly probably have no business beating. And we'll talk about we'll live with your own failure. <laughs> what did right. that bring you back to me? Back to me. It is inevitable. And we'll talk about the Lakers because the delusion it's crazy. With the with the Laker fans. Yeah. Oh, why don't we I literally heard this, Chris. I know you saw it too. Yes. Why don't we Ten. lose yes. the first game yeah. to avoid the Nuggets yeah. so we can then be the eight seed and play right. OKC. So you're going to lose the first game, yep. okay, Just and then bring in either a team in the Kings who you have not beaten this season. That's right. Or the Warriors who just packed you up two weeks ago. Right. <laughs> the delusion is it's insane. Crazy. It's crazy. It's a, so you're not good enough to stay out of the plan, yeah. but you're good enough to manipulate the plan yeah. and get exactly what you want. Yeah. I, I, I really don't – I really can't believe it, no. but – they might be the eight and ten seeds, but their fan bases are number one and two in delusion. Number, man. Yes, they're, 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 like you said, man. They're already Warrior fans are already game planning for OKC. Laker fans are already talking about how they're going to manipulate the the standings or the the whatever to try and get further into the play. They're already talking about second round. How do we get to the second round? Crazy, Frank facts. Crazy. Crazy. Let's get it popping. Frank Facts, let's get it popping. Frankie Cardicelli, even on game 82 where the Kings, uh, really ultimately that game didn't matter. Frankie's still pumping out post-game articles. And, of course, this one leaned a little bit more into a, a preview of the plan. But even still, we've got some end-of-season notes here uh, in our Frank Facts. The Kings, Sacramento Kings, that is, 46-36, and 36, finished the season 10 games over 500. For the second consecutive season, the first time Sacramento has posted back-to-back -back records since 2003, 2004, and 2004, 2005. So even though this season has been incredibly frustrating, even though we have texters and people in my post game who want Mike Brown out of town and say, "What is Monty McNair doing?" These guys have led this team in just two short years. And I'm, I'm, you know, I know Monty's been here longer than two, but in two years, they have flipped this thing completely on its head. Uh, I know they're a 10 or a nine seed, but even then, this is an incredibly deep Western Conference. And that part should not be overlooked. The fact that the Kings are definitely here to stay. This year was a building upon the foundation of last year. And at the very least, the foundation has not crumbled. A shorthanded Blazer team that was without 11 of its rotation yeah. players. And it looked like it relied on the three ball quite heavily in that first quarter. Alan, I've never seen anything like this. And I know a lot of people, ourselves included, were mainly paying attention to that Lakers-Pelicans game on Sunday. But when we would look up at the Kings-Blazers game in front of us, it was missed shot after missed yeah. shot after missed shot. The Blazers missed 20 of its first 21 attempts from beyond the arc. One of 21 the Blazers were at one point, and the Kings took advantage, pushing their lead to over 20 uh, early in the second quarter. With three first quarter steals, De'Aaron Fox has 150 on the season, passing, uh, I guess. Oh, I didn't realize Ron Artest had fully changed his name. Frank wrote in here, Meta Sandiford Artest, which is so artist formerly known as Meta World Peace, okay. formerly known as Ron Artest, okay. now goes by Meta Sandiford Artest. Got it. There you go. Learn something new every day. Uh, for the seventh most steals in a single season in franchise history, Demonis Sabonis posted his 77th double-double of the season. 77 out of 82 is insane uh, versus Portland, tying the most in a single season since Moses Malone in 1978-79. Uh, since longest, that's the most since the ABA-NBA merger. Sabonis ended the season as the league leader in double-doubles with that 77 mark and tied the NBA lead in triple-doubles with Nikola Jokic, who did get a triple-double in the last game of the season to tie Sabonis. Uh, so shout-out Domas and Jokic with 26 triple-doubles on the season. Davion Mitchell finished the regular season with a career-best 36% uh, from the three-point range, that obviously was a huge, huge 
uh, developmental point for Davion. Good to see him hit that number, uh, which has kind of been known as as like the league Mendoza line, if you will. That's kind of the the if you want to be considered even like a good shooter or a passable shooter, thirty six percent is the number you want to hit. So shout out Davion for hitting that. Demonis Sabonis uh, again secured his second straight rebounding title on Sunday, finishing with a thousand one hundred and twenty rebounds. That's thirteen point six rebounds per game. De'Aaron Fox secured his NBA steals title, leading the league with 150 steals, just over two a game. Fox became the second player in Sacramento era uh, to swipe 150 more or more in a single season. Uh, assistant coach Doug Christie did it four times. So shout out De'Aaron, uh, who who really did earn his his nickname this year say, of Swipe of the Fox. Thanks to Chris Watkins. Undeniably. Saying, Hey, Five, you don't deserve that swipe hey, of nickname. You know? De'Aaron said, I got you. He earned it. He earned it. I got you. We set up the situation. Also, we see the double agents on the text of line. We'll get to you. Oh, also, opening up the phone lines, how do you feel? Are you confident? Are you faking confidence? How do you feel? Let's go, Sacramento. Styles and Watkins, Sacktown Sports. Can Mike Brown build on last season's Coach of the Year award? Can the Kings exceed 48 wins? We will be better prepared to make the run that we expect to run come next playoff. Tune into every Kings game this season on Sacktown Sports and SacktownSports.com. Thinking of remodeling your home? Say goodbye to endless internet searches and visit Subcontractors United. Find a list of three pre-qualified and licensed contractors in each home service category. From cabinets to landscapers and everything in between, Subcontractors United makes finding qualified contractors free and easy with no accounts to set up. Visit SubcontractorsUnited.com and experience the joy of stress-free home improvement. Save time and money at SubcontractorsUnited.com. Guys, did you know your testosterone level impacts your energy, libido, sleep, weight, hair loss, mood, and even ED? And right now, Revive Men's Health Sacramento will check your testosterone for free. They're in Midtown in the Cal Sutter Medical Building and also offer telemedicine appointments. Schedule your free testosterone test, exam, and consultation today. Call 916-365-4566. That's 916-365-4566. Or visit revivemenshealth.com. Sacktown Sports. Call or text at 916-339-1140. Nate playing this because we got beef. Oh, yeah. Grill it up. We got beef. Drizzy responded, by the way, speaking of beef. And you know what, Drizzy? I'm I'm not really too thrilled with you. There are a lot of Zot. Zot jokes in there <laughs> about Kendrick, who is is a strong Zot. So I didn't love it, Drizzy, but you had to do what you had to do. But we got beef here. It's in the bay. By the way, Chris, here you go. It's from the nine two five. Couple couple texts here. Come on, Styles. The bay is not taking the Kings lightly. You're gaslighting. No. Dot dot dot. But the beam is done for the season. <laughs> they go on to say, I'm a Warriors fan in the Bay listening okay. to local radio in your station. You guys are gaslighting, dot, dot, dot. Definitely not. But I love it. Yo, no, I, I promise you we're not gaslighting. Like- I listened this morning. <laughs> I listened this morning. Yeah. I'm not talking about the hosts. I heard a couple callers, and no, I didn't listen to four hours because we're prepping for the fastest growing show in That's Sacramento. Right. But they're literally saying, don't count us out. This, is, But it's not just the Warriors. The Lakers are doing the same thing. Yeah. And this is what now, This is why when we were talking with Jason, it's about what the play-in will become when these big names are no longer in the play-in. They're in the play-in because they're, they're hitting the twilight. And I know Steph has still been playing amazing, but that big three is, is hitting their twilight. They might, they might be done after this season. The Lakers are just a complete mess. Honestly, the Lakers, that's more embarrassing to me than the Warriors. Because the Warriors, we knew they were getting old. Mm-hmm. They 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 were kind of stuck. They tried to bring it back. The right. Lakers, they did they did what right. they did. Got to the Western Conference Finals, out of the play, and this was supposed to be they right. they had the People best off season. Yep, I was just the off season champs. Yep. So honestly, 
the lake that one Don't about the in season champs the in season champs okay not hey, just off season okay. you know man this just already proves, got a title this year this just and they got a banner too <laughs> a corny banner this just proves we can do when, when, when we take care of business man but look <laughs> as, sounded like lebron there <laughs> as, as far as the kings are concerned yeah every and i'm looking here it looks like the line has moved a little bit now it's warriors favored by two points Okay, so, so gaslighting. I mean, <laughs> no, uh, no, uh, unless Vegas is gaslighting no, too. No, no, no. So you have you have a, a team in the Warriors who I know we joke about the the best rookie duo right. in the league. That's also, right. the Undeniably. only rookie duo in the league that's not on the lottery team. In in and they actually they they could be if they lose. If with with Pajemski, Trace Jackson, Davis. Th- those are some good players, right? And they've mm-hmm. been playing very well. Clay, he can't. He, he's he, back. He came from the cave. Yeah. He's yes. out of the cave. Then he got on his boat and he got back into the starting lineup. Yep. And we know what Steph Curry brings to the table. We know what Draymond brings to the right. table. This is t- this is gonna be tough, man. And it's Absolutely. not just gonna be tough because of of what the Warriors bring. I mean, we we've watched this team lose five of the last out of the last six Mm -hmm. with no Malik Monk and no Kevin Herter. That's just the reality of the situation. Yeah, no, absolutely. I I think that, you know, the Kings definitely have the odds stacked against them. I think if you think that the Kings, uh, you know, can, can win the game, I I do think that it's a lot of it is, is just kind of based on hope. Like, I don't Mm -hmm. know if you can realistically look at the, where these two teams are trending right now and, and say that you feel better about the Kings chances. I mean, they, they have everybody down and I know GP two and, and Kaminga are going through some things. It sounds like GP two's not going to play. It sounds like Kaminga is kind of on the fence, but mm-hmm. the Kings are on the complete opposite side of that, where they're, they're limping into the playoffs. They're holding on for dear life. And uh, you know, the Warriors for the most part, they just got Chris Paul back. Like you said, Clay has kind of been through his ups and downs and seems to be more so on the up. Draymond's not getting suspended anymore, so he's played a good, consistent stretch. They're kind of just all the pieces are fitting in. Trace Jackson Davis getting more integrated into the lineup. Pajemski is definitely com- almost too comfortable mm-hmm. with, with his situation there in Golden State. So, yeah, I mean, I, I think that a lot of things point in the Warriors' favor. Of course, all the experience, the fact that they did this last year in this building – they're not shook at all by this moment and by this opportunity. And yeah, I mean, in a way they're probably viewing Sacramento as a bit of a speed bump. They're like, okay, we just have to get through this to get to where we actually want to go. Meanwhile, the Kings are literally taking this thing game by game and saying, we can't even think about that seven, eight matchup because we have to focus so much on how we're going to game plan specifically for this game to try and figure out how we can, we've, we've got all the experience in the world against this team, We've got to use all of that to try and figure out how to just get through this matchup, and then we'll worry about the next game after that. Yeah, that that's just how it's got to be. The the Kings, we know that they can get hot from three. Yeah, my worry is the they same thing. Get cold from three. I mean, I, and it's and it's the timing. Yes, yeah, it's the oh, timing yeah. of it. Yeah. To me, Chris, this is what I'm worried about. I'm worried about exactly what we've seen. I imagine the Kings get out early. Right. They're hot. They get up 10, maybe 15 points. We're having a party in there. All the different songs after threes are being played. (laughs) And then the Warriors just kind of wear it and they don't go away. And it's a close game. It's anybody's game towards the. And by the way, I think I I think I saw the Kings blew the most. What was it? Double digit leads out of any Mm. team that's still playing. Mm. So any uh, they were they were number 13. Right. And I believe like the other 12 ahead of them didn't make the play in Mm. or or something like that. So we've seen this with the Kings. They get up early. We're all having a good time. They go, they go ice cold. The Warriors just hang around. And then at the end, it's a it's a close game the same way the other games have been close. And then we'll see. This is from the 831. This is going to be, and I don't and I want to know how many people feel like this. This is going to be the type of game where the cold-blooded killers kill. I am a little nervous going into the game because Golden State has theirs. We don't necessarily have ours. And that's a direct yeah. shot at De'Aaron, the reigning well, clutch player of the year. I think he is ours. I think they're more. I think they're just saying Malik's not here, and so we don't have our full staff of people. Because mm-hmm. I, I think everybody believes De'Aaron. Fo- I, I think maybe I shouldn't step out and let speak for the, the texter, but I think a lot of people believe, or most people, or everybody believes De'Aaron Fox is going to step up in these kind of games. These are, you know, we saw last year in the playoffs, he he elevated his game to be a 30-point-per-game scorer 
in the playoffs. It's just you need more than that. Like you said, I mean, they have Clay. They've got Steph. Uh, you know, even Chris Paul can set people up in big games. And Andrew Wiggins has had some big games, especially in that finals. They've got a lot of guys who can play big games. The Kings really only have De'Aaron Fox at this point in time. Yeah, that, and and De'Aaron, the thing is, and this is completely unfair, and I understand that, but the thing about it is what we've seen with De'Aaron, even in this this last stretch, is that unfortunately it is a make or miss league. And even if you're the reason, if even if you're the reason you're in this position or right. the team is in a position, if you don't make that last shot, that's what gets remembered. Yeah. So I, I'm thinking the Celtics and I'm uh, thinking, you know, OKC. this OK, OKC. <laughs> and and yeah, now you have and, and then you have just a couple days ago yep. with Phoenix yep. and by and somebody on the also Dave on the sack chat. Shout out to the sack chat, by the way. Also, Dave is asking, did the two minute report come out? And it look, is. I was in the post game. You were doing the post game. Be sure you catch Chris on YouTube, Sacktown Sports after every single Kings game. And I was in there, and De'Aaron, he wouldn't even answer the question about what the play was. He was so he was so adamant about making it known that he was fouled. Look, man, I'm not going to get into tinfoil hats about the two-minute report, but the two-minute report said that they didn't see enough contact. And we know that they've been wearing it lately. They've mm -hmm. been saying, hey, we were wrong. You know, SGA traveled, and, and Kobe Jones got hit in the face. So they will wear it. I don't – if I'm putting on the tinfoil hat, it's, oh, did they not want to look bad because De'Aaron called them out so much? I don't know. The bottom line is it's an L. Yep. And now you now you now don't now you have the opposite of having two cracks at it. You need two wins yeah. just to yeah. get in. And that and that's just what it is. So if it's not fair to compare Steph and De'Aaron, but that's just what's gonna happen in one game settings like yeah. this. And I hope De'Aaron is listening. And I hope De'Aaron is is reading everything because there's there's one way to dead all this, and that's by getting it done. Show up, yeah. By no doubt. I mean, you know, absolutely. Mm -hmm. This is the kind of game where, you know, I don't, I, it, of course, it'd be great if you can get contributions from, from those, as uh, Shaq calls them others, right? Mm -hmm. or, or Chuck calls them others. Uh, you know, it'd be great if you can get some points from Keegan or some points from Keon Ellis or a big game out of Davion. But yeah. ultimately, do the Kings stand a chance if De'Aaron scores under 30 points? I don't think so. I, I can't imagine how this Kings team could win unless they, you know, are winning a, uh, game that's under 110 points. I, I just think De'Aaron Fox has to be big in this game. I think he knows it. I think the Warriors know it, but I, I think that he's just got to be an unstoppable force. I mean, if GP2 is not going to be able to play, I don't know if they have anyone who can slow down De'Aaron. He's got to take advantage of that. And, uh, you know, yeah, we've seen Jalen Brunson do it all year for his Knicks team. De'Aaron's going to have to put on the cape at the very least for one game. Well, I, I guess they'll they'll try. I, I know Clay cannot hang with De'Aaron. No, no disrespect. Maybe Pajemski a little bit. Maybe, he's gonna, yeah. Pajemski, and I believe he's taking the most charges he out sure of. Has. Is it everyone? Everybody or, in yeah. the NBA. So, yep. and I, you know, I hate charges. So, I hate Pajemski. <laughs> he's writing that down as as we <laughs> he speak. Hope he does. Note it. Yeah. Note it. When we return, continuing the conversation, opening up the phone lines. All guests and callers, join us from the Folsom Lake Honda Hotline. Folsom Lake Honda, your one-stop Honda shop, 916-339-1140. How did we get here? And we will set up the situation. Also talking Warriors and the NBA playoffs as a whole. Styles and Watkins, Sackdown Sports. Trying to find out where to catch your favorite team's games? Are you a fan of the Kings, Niners, and the NFL? Well, Sackdown Sports has you covered. Touchdown! Francisco! It's all on his shoulders. Cox rocks. He fires for the win. He's got the triple. Catch all your Kings, Niners, and NFL games all year long on Sacktown Sports and SacktownSports.com. For a precision-crafted performance, the decision is easy. A new Acura from Acura of Stockton. Get the driving experience you've been waiting for in a new Acura. Get the best selection and customer service you deserve from Acura of Stockton. Shop in person or use our online express store at AcuraOfStockton.com. Acura of Stockton will buy your trade, even if you don't buy from us. Don't settle for less than precision-crafted performance of a new Acura from Acura of Stockton and AcuraOfStockton.com. It ignites something inside of you. Lightning and the thunder, thunder. Sets a light and elevated state of being. Days are pure exhilaration. And the nights, they're simply electric. See it. Hear it. 
Feel it. Thunder Valley Casino Resort. Feel the thunder. Wesley Financial Group is not a law firm. Are you one of the nearly 10 million families that own a timeshare? Unfortunately, many families stuck in timeshares have learned the dark side of ownership as their timeshare ends up being nothing like they were promised. I'm Chuck McDowell, founder of Wesley Financial Group. If you were lied to when buying a timeshare, you're going to need help. I know this because I once worked as a timeshare salesman, but quit the business and made it my personal mission to help folks get rid of bad timeshares. That's why I put together a timeshare exit information kit to help you understand how the timeshare industry works and your options for cancellation. Over 30,000 families have trusted us to get rid of their timeshares. Many started out by simply calling us for the free information kit and are now timeshare free. To get your free information kit, call Wesley Financial now. Call 800-837-1919. That's 800-837-1919. 800-837-1919. I love a beautiful lawn. I hate doing lawn care. That's why I use True Green. They're the official lawn care treatment provider of the PGA Tour. And we all know those are some nice greens. So just imagine what they could do for your lawn. All you have to do is water and mow. And to top it off, when you sign up for an annual plan by April 20th, get one application free. Visit TrueGreen.com for the best lawn at the best price, guaranteed. Restrictions apply. Look out, world, we're getting strong. The future's here and we belong. She can step, she can do more. Like build a rocket and watch it soar. Clean the oceans and make the world a better place. Find a cure, invent something new. There's no challenge in the world that she can't face. She can stem. Learn more at She Can Stem. A message brought to you by the Ad Council. There is a different vibe at night at the Hagen Oaks Range, powered by Top Tracer. It's more relaxed with golfers and newbies side by side enjoying the technology used on televised golf tournaments. Play a variety of fun games. Play Pebble Beach. Compete against friends at the Hagen Oaks Driving Range. Or treat yourself to nine holes on the McKenzie putting course. Hungry? The Hangout Food Truck offers burgers, chicken strips, and more. And don't forget to check the summer-long free concert schedule at the Hagen Oaks Driving Range, Fulton Avenue at Cap City Freeway. So here's a fact. 85% of the population will suffer from foot pain in their lifetime. That's almost everyone. So you'd think there'd be plenty of healthy long-term remedies. But there just aren't right? Hi, I'm Dan from the Good Feet Store. You know, people come in all the time sharing the same frustrating story. Bought this, tried that, been there, done, whatever, all different kinds of things, but all with a similar result. Nothing. A discouraging and endless cycle of disappointment. If this rings a bell, don't despair. There is hope. If you think you've tried everything, you probably haven't tried Good Feet Art Supports from the Good Feet Store. They're designed to relieve, even eliminate, the pain commonly caused by certain foot conditions like plantar fasciitis, bunions, flat feet, and others. Plus, provide better balance and increased comfort. See what we can do for you with a free arch support fitting. Just stop in or schedule an appointment. With over 200 stores, there's likely one in your neck of the woods. Find yours at goodfeet.com. Everybody needs good feet. Power Business Technology is proud to be 100% independent, locally owned, and managed Toshiba Copier Dealer. Local ownership cuts out the red tape, allowing ourselves to never be too busy to personally answer the call when our clients need us. Recognized for excellence in service execution, training, and customer service, we're proud to be named a 2022 Toshiba Pro Masters Elite Dealer. Contact us today for all of your business printing needs at 844-POWER-BZ. That's 844-769-3729. Or visit us at powercopiers.com. This segment is brought to you by Aztec Solar. Skip the sales pitch. Calculate your solar savings at yourpowersavings.com. Live and local. Live and local. This is Sacktown Sports. 831 Chris, you are on point. Not having Malik is so huge on the yes. text line responding to our breakdown of their text message. Let's let's talk about how things could shake up and just setting up the situation, the lay of the land for this week. And as John Dickinson JD was on on the morning show with Jason Ross. Kind of talking about surviving the week. Everybody's trying to survive yeah. this week. 
and get into the playoffs. Yeah, I mean, that, that's uh, that's exactly what it is. And uh, by the way, John Dickinson, there's probably not a better person to have on to, to break. Literally, because John is literally I feel like we have almost like without asking, mm-hmm. like, John, get out. It's like, yeah. John, why are you here? Right. He shows right. up to literally as many Kings and mm-hmm. I mean, I know he's at every Warrior game, right. but he shows up to as many Kings games as possible. So if anybody's qualified to to talk about the ins and outs of this matchup, absolutely yes. go listen to uh, JD on this morning with the guy, uh, not with the guys, just with Jason. And uh, I believe Simone was, was in there mm-hmm. as well. Um, but yeah, absolutely. Like this last week, honestly, like could the NBA have drawn up this week any better? Or I guess this past, this previous week up any better just with all of the lead up into it. And then you had the big new Orleans game as well against, mm-hmm. uh, against the Lakers on Sunday. It, it's been uh, it's been a crazy ramp up. And, you know, I think this week is, is going to deliver a lot of promise as well. It's kind of crazy. The playoffs start on Sunday. Like they still start yeah. this week as crazy as that is. So um, I think it's going to just be a continuation of it. The games this week, some of them are, are good. Some of them, you know, I, I think more so on the Eastern Conference that that nine ten matchup isn't quite doing it for me. But this is this is what you play for all season long, and in a weird way, like this is what being a fan is about, right? Is is you know this week could be one that we talk about for years to come, where the Kings against all odds beat the Warriors and and beat whoever to limp into a playoff seed and. Uh, you know, the the who knows how the actual playoffs end up going, but this could be uh, a nice little capper on on the season or it could be complete disappointment tomorrow or I'm sorry, Wednesday. We can come in talking about how big of a failure this season is. It All things are up and possible. And I think that's what that's what what is so great about sports sometimes is 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 the the swing of emotions that can happen with just the result of one or two games. And yep. And uh, I think this week is really going to be the epitome of it. Yeah. And really it it comes down to if they, if they beat the Warriors, how do you feel? How much better would it make you feel if if they beat the Warriors? Especially if if that's the one game, like if they still don't make it. Yeah. Let's see. Let's say they lose because here's the thing. It's interesting how Kings fans really would be worried if the Kings win and then the Pelicans lose yes, the yes, because yes. obviously we know the, <laughs> we know, we know the past, the delusion with the Laker fans is that they're staring at a team that they've lost to four times yeah. this season and they don't really seem phased by that. Yeah. And a ba- with a banged up Anthony Davis now. That's right. Yeah. I mean, and we already know how Sabonis does in that matchup. Too. Yeah. So if 80s banged up, if it's, I think they said it's his back too, right? It was back spasms something. or something like that. I mean, that. that's not going to, that's not going to bode well when you got that shoulder in your chest all game. So, right. you know, I, I think that that would be uh, definitely a good matchup for, and you want to talk about a swing of emotions. I mean, I I know Kings fans probably, like I said, I I don't think I'd love to hear call in, please. I want to hear if uh, there's people out there who are just like, Chris, you're crazy. We still have faith. We still, I know TC Uh definitely still got Uh faith that the Kings can get this done, but you want to talk about a swing of emotions. If the Kings beat the Warriors and then have to match up against the Lakers and Lakers fans are still talking Uh all this crazy stuff. Kings fans are going to go right back to the well of of these fo- like the rivalry. It's not going to be back to what it was, but mm-hmm. those old emotions are definitely going to brew back up, and it's going to get crazy. So that that's definitely what I'm rooting for from an entertainment perspective. Yeah, it's absolutely. Lakers delusion against Kings, just being that underdog story that that is really never been more of an underdog than they are now. Yeah, the Kings are in a really interesting position because they have the opportunity to exercise a bunch of demons yep. or those demons could get even scarier. Yes. We're talking about it Absolutely. too. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Because <laughs> if you beat the warriors, it doesn't really matter who's next because you would either beat the Lakers again and have full, full ownage over yeah. them, or you would finally beat the Pelicans in the most important game right. of your season. Right. If you lose to the Warriors, obviously that would be brutal. Crushing. Okay. If you beat the Warriors and then lose to the Pelicans, now you've lost to a team. Four. Right. That's got to be a record now. Yeah, six besides, times. Besides the, the <laughs> what was it, the 50s and right. 60s when they were 14. Even then, I hope. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. That, that's got to be a record if you go 0-6 or you lose to a Laker team when yeah. it matters most when you had owned. Right. But now, to be fair, you beat the Lakers 
you had Malik Monk. Right. And, and right. I don't know if you had Kevin Herter the last time, but you right. definitely had Malik Monk. So that is what it is. Right. But And that's probably the most confusing state to be in, mm-hmm. right? Because we eliminate the Warriors. You feel good. You, you, you proved maybe one thing, but then ultimately still not reaching your goal of making the playoffs and everything that you just laid out there too. I'm going to be honest with you, though. I think that it means so much, or it would mean so much to send the Warriors home. I think so, too. Knowing that you are prob- you probably weren't right. going to win the whole thing anyway. Right. At least you got that. Right. right? I mean, we're exactly. talking about that meme where the guy's popping the bottle and he's in sixth place. <laughs> yes. But at the same time, you weren't going to win the whole thing. You know, right. you were maybe okay. You could have got Malik back. We know Kevin Herter's done for the season, so maybe you could have made some noise. But we know who this right. team is. It's the epitome of a tiny victory. But I think it would do wonders for the team to get this done. And even if you lose to the Lakers next, yeah, you know they're probably going to shoot seven. They're shooting a free throw right now for their game tomorrow. <laughs> so if if you lose to the Lakers or you lose to the Pelicans, but you beat the Warriors, right. I think in a I think. It would make everybody feel better. It, yeah. it doesn't change the summer conversation. Right. But at, at least you can say you sent the Warriors yeah. back in. Right? Yeah, because the, the last thing you want, like you said, is for those demons to get even bigger. You mm-hmm. don't want the Warriors fans to then have – because who knows if this is the last time of this run, too. So you want to get them before they get out the door. If Clay yeah. leaves this offseason – you're not going to have another opportunity to tell warrior fans like, ah, oh, like we, we got you. Like, cause then it's always going to be, yeah, but you didn't, you didn't beat our big three. So you, you gotta, yeah. you gotta try and take advantage of that. And you know, yeah, I mean, it would, it would be great at the very least, you know, you're like, if we're, if we're both dying, if we're both jumping off this building, I'm taking you with me. And, and that's, you know, it's, it's a small victory, but I think at this point in the season with, with how everything is shaken out, I, I think you would take it and ultimately we would definitely have bigger picture conversations that would just definitely trump that entire thing. But at the end of the day, uh, it is something positive that you can take from the season. And Mike Brown keeps talking about experience. I do think winning a play in game, it shows something. It's an elimination game. It's as close to, it's nowhere near a game seven, but it's about as close of circumstances as you can try and replicate mm-hmm. as many bites at the apple of a game seven as you can get, which the Kings already have one, which is more than teams like OKC and maybe even uh, Minnesota. If I'm, if I'm remembering correctly, that's something that you can take forward and it is a learning lesson. But again, there would be much bigger conversations that we're having around it, but small little victory. I know the Kings beat the Warriors in that in season tournament game to get in right. and then got, ultimately packed up by the pelicans Pelicans. but let us not forget you opened this season in sacramento you opened golden one center's doors with the warriors Mm -hmm. and you lost do not let the warriors close that door do not do not start the season actually that's that would be the second time chris yes, yes. second time that they have that the warriors the would close yeah. the doors grand and go opening, to one grand closing you cannot yep. let that happen and i know this team isn't really a raw raw team get mason Please. jones <laughs> get anybody that dude who does the 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 circle after yeah, the warm-ups the, 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 the trainer conditioning yeah. dude get, him get out everybody there. call me up JaVale. we gotta get the javel the fan favorite they were loving javel yesterday oh javel was loving javel yesterday you gotta find it yeah you gotta find you have look to. if it happens it happens whatever yeah. But you really got to find it here, yeah. Kings. Don't leave it any. You don't re- leave anything. You, because you can at least feel better yeah. themselves. Yep. Hey, we got the experience of a game seven. We exercised some demons. We know we didn't have it. We didn't have Malik. We didn't have Kevin Herter. But at least we did this. This is the one thing yeah. that everyone's asking. Yes. What? Please. Styles and Watkins, we see you, Jordan. We see you, TC. We'll get to you when we return quickly. Styles and Watkins, Sack Down Sports. The only place you'll find Kevin Herter is Sacktown Sports. Herter's open, steps into three. He's got the triple. Hey, Sacramento, it's Kevin Herter, and you're listening to the home of the Sacramento Kings, Sacktown Sports. Your local sports leader. I didn't ask to be thrown in the streets with nowhere to go. I didn't think I'd survive. But I did ask for help, and Covenant House was there for me. One in 10 young adults will experience a form of homelessness this year. For these kids who didn't ask to be put in this unthinkable situation, Covenant House is there. Covenant House helped me break the cycle of homelessness in my family. 
they gave me the love that I needed. Over 2,000 young people will sleep safely in a Covenant House bed tonight. When youth who are experiencing homelessness have a hot meal, a safe place to sleep, medical care, and love, they can overcome heartbreaking challenges and have a brighter future. They just really genuinely just wanted to help me succeed and I'm succeeding. I'm a, I'm a speaker, I'm an author. Covenant House really helped me and really helped mold me into the woman I am today. If you or someone you love is asking for help, go to safeplacetosleep.org today. Country in the Park is back May 17th and 18th at Cal Expo with Brantley Gilbert, Dustin Lynch, Jay Cohen, Walker Hayes, and more. Tickets start at just 46 bucks. Country in the Park, May 17th and 18th at Cal Expo. For more information, visit CITPFest.com. Brought to you by Tough Shed, new dog treatment sensors, and Raising Cane's Chicken Fingers. Jiffy Lube has a special promotion going on right now. Simply purchase a Pennzoil Platinum full synthetic oil change at Jiffy Lube and receive a $25 e-gift card from popular brands for food, gas, and more. It's that easy. Simply purchase a Pennzoil Platinum full synthetic oil change and receive a $25 e-gift card. So basically, going to Jiffy Lube can get you a free lunch or a pizza for dinner. That's what we call added value for the consumer. That's why Jiffy Lube is number one in the greater Sacramento area for oil changes. Visit JiffyLube.com for more details and valuable coupons today. Contact tech. Relief helpers for details and restrictions. Attention anyone that owes money to the IRS. The IRS has restarted aggressive enforcement actions against taxpayers who owe back taxes that were temporarily suspended for COVID. If you owe $10,000 or more, you must hear this because now is the time to clear your IRS tax debt. A special toll free number has been established so you can stop penalty fees, avoid liens, levies, and other hostile measures by the IRS. Call Tax Relief Helpers right now at 800 934 9217. Tax Relief Helpers will provide you with the maximum protection afforded by law. I got behind on my taxes and owed $48,000. I didn't know what to do. I called and they got my bill lowered to just $3,500. I owed $87,000 in taxes and it was scary. I got the amount I owed down to just $3,500. I saved $83,500. If you owe money to the IRS, don't wait another day. Call 800-934-9217 right now before the IRS enforces liens, levies, and other aggressive measures. The call and consult are absolutely free. Call now. Call 800-934-9217. 800-934-9217. 800-934-9217. Welcome to the April Adventure Sales Event at Kia Vacaville. Are you ready for an extraordinary experience? We're excited to introduce you to the Pinnacle of automotive excellence, the Kia Telluride. During April Adventure, come and explore the remarkable features of the Kia Telluride. It's not just a vehicle, it's a lifestyle. With this seamless blend of sophistication and practicality, the Telluride is ready to elevate your driving experience to new heights. Whether you're embarking on a family road trip or navigating the urban jungle, the Kia Telluride offers unparalleled comfort and innovation. Plus, with Kia's commitment to safety and reliability, you can drive with confidence wherever the road takes you. Don't miss this opportunity to experience the extraordinary Kia Telluride for yourself. Visit Kia of Vacaville today and take advantage of exclusive offers during the April Adventure Sales Event. Your adventure begins here. Kia of Vacaville, where innovation meets excellence. Model availability, lease options, and features may vary. Please visit Kia of Vacaville for more details. ZZ Top, the Elevation Tour. Friday, May 3rd, 7.30 p.m., the venue at Thunder Valley with special guest, Foghat. ZZ Top, playing all their classic hits. The venue at Thunder Valley. For tickets, visit ThunderValleyResort.com. Sacktown Sports. Check us out on YouTube. Search Sacktown Sports and subscribe. From the 925, LOL, talking about 50 wins out of the All-Star break. Now we want a moral victory. We have massive problems when an injury to our six-man derails our season. I mean, they almost got 50 wins, and Malik missed the last 10 games. Yeah. And again, I don't think it's a moral victory. I, I I would just put in perspective that nobody thought there'd be a parade even with Malik. Right. So no if you were, if you were, it's almost, I was going to say two different conversations, it's almost three different conversations. It's the fact that you 
didn't take care of business while you had Malik and Kevin Herter. Yep. And then the last couple games without Malik was more understandable. It, it almost makes more sense to talk about the game that you tricked off with Malik yeah. and Kevin Herter than without them, because definitely what are you really expecting using, using the word, using the term six man and nine to five, if you're a Kings fan, then you understand that context is not fair. I mean, he played starter minutes. Yes. So when you lose an actual starter and you lose someone who plays starter minutes, I, I don't really, and you were in games and eventually just role players cooled off. Right. Right. That to me bugs me way less in the games you lost when you were fully, and we have those numbers too yeah. from, from the Kings Herald when you were fully healthy yeah. and you were tricking off games. I'll talk about that before I'll, before I talk right. about losing Malik Monk because the expectations, they changed there. 916-339-1140. Let's go to Jordan. Who's been hanging out during the break. What's up, Jordan? What you got for us? Hey, how's it going, guys? <laughs> Thanks for taking my call. Of course. So uh, my confident level tomorrow, I would say, is about 50-50. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> um, I took – yesterday I went to the game. I took my son to his first Kings game. And uh, he, he he was excited because he saw the indoor beam. But he was asking – I was I, he asked me what's the uh, next game. It's going to Tuesday because the Warriors. And he asked me, are we going to see the beam? And I said, didn't give him a good answer. <laughs> <laughs> you can't lie to your yeah, kid. Come on. <laughs> yeah, but I was like, you know what? You should be lucky. You might. You probably saw the last game of the season. <laughs> but I'll say this: uh, tomorrow, you know what? I think a uh, big part about tomorrow's game is going to be the bench. I mean, mm -hmm. I think Trey Lyles should should have a good game. Um, especially Davon Mitchell. I mean, what, what was it, the game? I think it was the game against the Suns. The bench only had like seven points. Right. You're not going to win. You're not going to win a lot of games with the bench going for seven points. So, I mean, you know what? I think as a Kings fan, if you guys haven't been looking at social media, like Instagram or Reddit, this last, I mean, the past 24 hours, uh, I think tomorrow as a Kings fan is our game seven of, uh, the NBA Finals. If we can beat the Warriors tomorrow, I'll be satisfied. <laughs> Thanks for the call, Jordan. Good stuff. Jordan said, "I can't Good lie. To, I can't lie to my boy. Yeah. I can't lie I to respect it. I respect. I, I got to bring some positivity. I think <laughs> sure. right now. I know there's a lot of skepticism, mm -hmm. um, but you guys remember last year when the Kings went up 2-0 on the Warriors? Mm -hmm. Yes, at home. Yeah. I mean, if they go up 1-0, it's over. Right? It's over. It's over. So it's, yeah, nobody thought they would win Game Six. And then what? We're That's one true. HB shot away from being up 3 0. We've seen that movie. Yeah. Yeah. I, again, I, to me, it's a completely different vibe. That's how much Malik Monk means yeah. to me. Yeah. Absolutely. I'm looking at it here. Game one that you're talking about, Malik Monk, 32 points off the bench. They just don't have that. Now, to, to, uh, to our caller's point there, Trey Lyles had 16 in game one. In game two, uh, let's see here. Kings won. Malik had 18 off the bench. Davion Mitchell had 14. Trey Lyles had zero. Can't have that. Alex Len had four, was playing eight minutes, but it's a, it's a lot of starters. Kevin Herter had 15. Uh, you had 24 and 24 from Sabonis and Fox. You know, I, I think that it's just a, a completely different ask of, of what they were before. Again, game six. Uh, you had Malik Monk, 28 points off the no, bench. He went off. They just don't have that yeah. pop. And so I, I think. It's, you're just going to have to play a different style. I think that's the thing that that I'm thinking about the most is how unique is this game that we're about to watch? Because to me, Mike Brown can't do can't play like how he's played this team in the past because he doesn't have the same team no. that he had in the past. I don't know if you go big and play Ke Keegan at the two. I don't know if you you know play Keon Ellis 35 minutes. I just think that you have to be really unique in this game plan. You almost have to. Are you, are you saying you have to try and surprise the Warriors? Are almost. you saying unique from what we've seen the last ten yes. games? Yeah, like this needs to be its own independent game plan. There is no rotations with this game. There is just whatever we think. Whoever the best six, seven, may I maybe eight guys that we think can can disrupt this Warrior team from what they like to do. That's what you got to throw out there. It can't be, you know, hey, this is just a random example. Sasha hasn't played, uh, hasn't been a part of the rotation 
or Kessler Edwards is maybe a better example. Yeah. Kessler Edwards isn't somebody who you would think would probably play if this was a playoff series, but this is a one game thing. If you feel like, Hey, we need five good minutes on Steph Curry. Let's just throw Kessler. At, like that's the kind of thing that I'm talking about is you can't really be stuck to anything you've done in the past. This needs to be a single game uh, game plan where, where you just throw everything you've seen out and you just have to try and, and win the day, honestly, because that's, that's what it is. You're you're not thinking long term here. There is no tomorrow. If you've had any thought, Mike Brown knows the ins and outs of this Warrior team probably better than anybody else out there. What what are their weak spots? And you have to try and take advantage with whatever you have. Yeah, and look, we're we're trying to protect ourselves yes. because I I've been pretty high on this Kings team. I thought they'd beat the Pelicans. I yeah. thought that, that last stretch, I thought they'd either beat the Kings or the Celtics and they just haven't been able to get yeah. it done. So that's why I think, and I'm not speaking for everybody at all. I think that's why I think a lot of Kings fans are jaded because of what they've just watched. Yes. It's not that they don't believe in the Kings. It's that they did believe in the Kings right. and the Kings have just let them down yeah. time and time again this season. But this, this warrior team, and as we start to break them down, they're not perfect at all. No, They have a, a plethora of their own issues, and they will get in their own way. That Pelicans game... They really needed that rest. That's why they. That's why they rested Steph mm -hmm. against the against the Jazz. Right? They didn't play yep. Steph. They didn't play Draymond. Steph did ha, had rolled his ankle, and and you know I believe he's going to play. But Steph, you know, people had said he looked tired, and yep. he, he's not been injured, but he's been banged up. They're trying. They're trying to survive. And I'm looking here, Chris, because you know I don't love the blitzing, mm -hmm. but. Steph Curry has always been pretty loose with the biscuit. Yeah. That man will turn the basketball yep. over. New Orleans, we know they got length, and that's why they're so good defensively. Steph Curry had seven turnovers against New Orleans. Yeah. Seven. More of that. More of that. Seven turnovers against New Orleans. Yeah. He almost had a triple-double <laughs> with turnovers. He's going Russell Westbrook on us. 916-339-1140. Let's get to our guy, TC. Let's be part of the conversation. What's up, TC? We know you got the positive vibes, TC. Get it going. Hey, let's check it out. First and foremost, what's up with Sal and Chris, man? What's up, man? What's Monday, up, man? Yeah. you know? Just getting ready for war. Hey, listen. Hey, listen. Ready for war. The vibes is up. Hey, let's check it out, Kings fan, everybody. This is honestly, this is, hey, this is how the cookie crumble. We we dropped a few games early in the season. This is where we stand at. The world want to see the Kings and the Warriors. And quite honestly, bro, we got to face this demon, big dog. Mm -hmm. We got to beat these dudes, bro, and send them home, period, point blank. And then we got to move on to either the Lakers or the Pelicans. In my opinion, it's two demons that we finna face. We got to beat the Warriors, and we're going to have to beat the Pelicans, bro, to get into the playoffs, and then we're going to knock off the Thunder, bro. That's my prediction right now. Stand up, go to one, get ready to rock tomorrow, bro. Davion, the only thing that's going to be different is Mike. Not gonna do what he did in Game Seven and keep Davion on the bench, bro. That's gonna be the hey. That's gonna be the it factor. That's gonna be the it factor, guys. That's what I got. Let's go. Thanks for the like call. Thanks for yes, the call, TC. That's what I'm talking about. Yes, sir. That's what I'm talking about. And the I got my positive is, juices flowing. That's right. Say. And when we uh, when we I forgot about that Game Seven. When we return, about. we have how the Warriors have changed. And yeah, the Kings are missing Malik. And yeah, they're missing Kevin Herter. But they ain't been to Ellis Island yet. That's right. And they gonna see. That's right. Styles and Watkins, Sackdown Sports. Did you miss any part of our live local shows? Don't worry. You never have to miss them again. Check out SackdownSports.com and search our podcast page and play our shows when you want. The Carmichael Dave Show with Jason Ross, Styles and Watkins, and The Drive Guys. Plus, other podcasts like Return of the Empire. Return of the Roar, the Stingers Up podcast, and Golf to Go with Frank LaRosa. They're all available right now on SacktownSports.com. Hey there, wanted to take a moment of your time so I could talk to you about insecurity. I could talk to you about confidence. I could talk to you about girth. Yeah, what? Girth? Yeah, okay. Let me tell you about the Upsize Clinic at UpsizeMatters.com. My good friend, Dr. Jack. And his friend, Dr. Pash in San Francisco, have a safe, effective, long-lasting doctor-performed procedure. It's non-surgical, virtually pain-free. Now listen, girth is consistently ranked as the most important attribute. What Dr. Jack and Dr. Pash are offering is a free consultation. The procedure can be done on the same day as your consultation and get that confidence back. Reset in the bedroom with your partner. Financing is available. It's very private. It's very discreet. 
Available in Roseville with Dr. Jack and San Francisco with Dr. Pash at UpsizeMatters.com. That's UpsizeMatters.com. In this market, you'll find Fisher Investments is different than other money managers. Different how? Aren't we all just looking for the hottest stocks? Nope. We use diversified strategies to position our clients' portfolios for their long-term goals. You don't just provide cookie-cutter portfolios? No, we tailor our clients' portfolios to their goals and needs. But you still sell investments that generate high commissions for you, right? No, we don't sell commission-based products. We're a fiduciary, the highest standard of care for a financial advisor. It means we're obligated to act in our clients' best interest. So when do you make more money? Only when your clients make more money? Yep, we have one transparent management fee structured, so we do better when our clients do better. Sounds like you really look out for your clients. We do, because our priority is helping them achieve a comfortable retirement. That might be why most of our clients come from other money managers. Visit FisherInvestments.com to find out why investors like you switch to us. Fisher Investments, clearly different money management. Investments and securities involve the risk of loss. At Ashton & Price, we get injury victims to yes. Experience, yes. Ashton & Price has been around for over 25 years. No more insurance companies, yes. Our clients focus on getting better and we handle all the rest. Results, yes. We've collected over $100 million for injury victims. No fee until we win? Yes. Our clients pay nothing until we win. Ashton and Price, the best at getting to yes. Remember, for the best advice, don't think twice. Call Ashton and Price. Welcome to a brighter future with Aztec Solar, serving Sacramento since 1980. Everyone knows that solar saves money. How much? The answer is a few clicks away. Visit yourpowersavings.com. It's fast, easy, and reliable, giving you instant insight into your potential savings. I used to pay $400 a month to the power company, and that $400 a month added up to $48,000 over the past 10 years. That all changed when I switched to solar with Aztec Solar. Now it's your turn to stop overpaying for electricity. Calculate your solar savings right now at yourpowersavings.com. And Aztec Solar will email or text you how much you'll save every month. Plus, we've got an exclusive offer for you. Get your solar electrical system for just $9,995 cash price after incentives. Don't wait. This deal won't last forever. Visit yourpowersavings.com today and take the first step towards energy independence with Aztec Solar. I love a beautiful lawn. I hate doing lawn care. That's why I use True Green. They're the official lawn care treatment provider of the PGA Tour. And we all know those are some nice greens. So just imagine what they could do for your lawn. All you have to do is water and mow. And to top it off, when you sign up for an annual plan by April 20th, get one application free. Visit TrueGreen.com for the best lawn at the best price, guaranteed. Restrictions apply. Fraudulent tax returns due identity theft increased by 30% in 2023. If you're in a bind this tax season, LifeLock can help. Their U.S.-based restoration specialists are dedicated to helping solve identity theft issues, and all plans are backed by the Million Dollar Protection Package, which means if you lose money because of identity theft, a LifeLock will reimburse you up to the limits of your plan. Help protect your information with LifeLock. Go to lifelock.com and save up to 25% your first year with my name, Clay, as your promo code. Celebrate Sacramento Rivercats baseball during our 25th anniversary season. Pick your favorite weekly promotion, giveaway game, or theme night, and join the fun at Sutter Health Park. Stick around post-game every Friday and Saturday night as we light up the sky with the brightest fireworks in town. For a full promotion schedule, and to buy tickets, visit rivercats.com. We'll see you there. Spring savings continue at Folsom Lake Kia. Low payments, special offers, zero down deals on approval of credit. Shop your trusted Kia dealership for over 25 years and tell them DC sent you. FolsomLakeKia.com. From the Power Business Technology Toshiba Studios. KHTKAM Sacramento. KYMX HT2 Sacramento. Sacramento's official home for the San Francisco 49ers. Touchdown! San Francisco! Set Town Sports. Sports. Call or text at 916-339-1140. I'll be honest with you, Nate. 
I don't know. Are, are we are we saying we packing them up? You have playing you seen, Bay music? Have you seen the pictures of Mac Dre yes. wearing Kings gear? Allegedly a Kings fan. Yeah, that's allegedly. Why. That's why. Hey, that's what it's about. Playing for Mac Dre's honor. No forty. No too short this week. Oh shoot, I forgot about that. The yeah. the E forty. Yeah. <laughs> that that Will he went be away in the quick. Th- he won't be in the building. They 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 squashed that quick. Cause that was a they PR got behind that and was like, whoops, whoops, sorry. Yeah, it was not a good move. No. It did not make sense. And then he 40 made that, is for everybody. He made that stupid song. <laughs> Front court 40. Do you remember no. that? No. You don't remember that? No. <laughs> he made a song right after Front Court 40, a beefy. I'll let oh me cue it up. Yeah. I, I, no, I think I it's worth it's worth it. It was right after the beat. Yeah, I did not know that. Version. Oh okay. my god, it, it's clean. Yeah, we should have never done that. I yeah. didn't understand that because E Forty reps sack all the time. Well, yeah. the way he was the argument they didn't know who it was. Um, what was it? It was yeah. I think I it think it was, was right. Maybe slur because or something it, being yelled. Yeah, he said that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. somebody behind him was and, yelling at him or and something. security. But then he got kicked out. Well, because he retaliated. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And then it's always the second person, right? Right. Yeah. So, well, not when the second person is E40. <laughs> That's true. It's not like E40 is there in a button down. Like you. He's know, very like, yeah. He's, it's very obvious yeah. that that's a part yeah. like. What are we doing? Yeah, it's the dude with the smallest beanie on. What are we doing? But you get a chance to redo all of it. Yes. Tomorrow night. And we're trying to flip the vibes here. But I do have to read this one because we, we got the phone lines going. Is there no one? Does everyone feel like the 916 right here on the text line? And if you want to be a part of the conversation, 916-339-1140. Of course we have a chance to win. But when have we proved we can win a big game this year? We lost twice to Dallas when all we had to do at that time was win one of two. We have dropped big games all year long. I love the Kings, but embrace the hurt. They do not stand bigger than a 10% chance of winning. They haven't gotten it done all year long when they needed it. I think our fan base is delusional when we have not been able to pull (laughs) out the needed wins all season long. That's from the 916. I mean, what are we doing with the in season? That's that a big long, game, yeah. but that was a big that was a game. Long time ago, yeah, that I was, think that's the argument back at it. But I would say you're right. That's probably the biggest. How many big game, game they've won? This is what I would retort with. Now, whether or not Malik and Kevin Herter should be this important is a different conversation. Mm-hmm. But how many quote unquote big games? Because they all happen during the end of the stretch. How many big games were played? And it, look, it, it's an excuse. I know it is. But how many big games? were played with Malik and Kevin Herter. All the big games happen at the end of the season without right. both of those guys. So I'm not saying you're wrong, and maybe that's why most people don't feel – that's the thing, 916. Most people don't feel that confident. Right. That's, that's my thing. I, I don't think Kings fans are delusional. I don't you either. even had T, I mean, TC was just saying – it, this is all hope. Yeah. It's all hope. Yep. I don't, I don't think, think any, that's delusion at all. I don't think anybody expects you always, yeah. it. Yeah. Yep. Expect not not when you're missing. This would be the equivalent of, and I haven't watched enough Warriors basketball, but I mean, this would be whoever their six man is, or maybe even more important than that. Is losing Malik like the Warriors not having Clay Thompson? Because I would put, I would say that would Draymond say is more, more important yeah. than I would. I would put Draymond in the Sabonis category. Yeah. So that next level down, I would say, yeah. is that third person, whether yeah. that's Clay. It's almost like a clay and a half because yeah. it's like they have the Warriors have so much more that they can. I mean, Steph is not because De'Aaron isn't great, but it's just Steph is so much a, a level above everything else that the Kings have that makes up for that gap. And then, you know, it's just the importance that Malik plays for this team. Like, mm-hmm. again, if if clay's out. Steph Curry can step up. Wiggins can step up. Now Kaminga is an option to step up. Mm-hmm. They still have Chris Paul on their roster. Malik goes out, and we're talking about Davion Mitchell has to score in double digits. Trey Lyles has to score two threes. Yeah, you have to get something out of Keon Ellis. Like mm-hmm. we need HB to to look alive again. Like they just have so much more to to bank on if one of their guys are out. I I don't even think you can compare it. Like it would have to be yeah, That's Clay true. and and GP two are out. Yeah, and and I think the difference is. And this is why Warrior fans and Laker fans and part of the delusion, I think that Warrior fans, and I would say the Warrior team as a whole, 
they have underachieved. Yes. Okay. Yeah. You have guys that have just underachieved all season long. The Kings have with, yes. with Keegan, but yeah. it was Keegan. Oh, it hurt her too. Keegan and Herter. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You have with the, with the Warriors. HB. Well, HB. I don't know what the, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm sorry. Well, get me started. I know. Now. I know. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have. With the Warriors, you have. Clay, who for yeah. majority of the season underachieved. Mm-hmm. You have Wiggins, who underachieved. Yeah. Draymond you have emotionally. Draymond, who underachieved because he wasn't on He's the dang there, court. Yeah. Underplayed. So I think that is the difference between the Warriors and the Kings. Sure. The Kings had a couple people, players underachieve. Herter was probably the most Biggest. egregious. Mm-hmm. But yeah. you have multiple guys on the Warriors that have underachieved, and it's not due to injury or anything like that. And right. they're just hoping that they're starting to round. Oh, well, yeah. Wiggins on court, and then Wiggins missed time That's right. again. Yeah. CP as well missed a good chunk of time. Chris Paul, GP2. Yeah. yeah. So they're feeling like this is a different version of the team, yeah. whereas the Kings, it's just this is who we are right now. And yeah. I know I saw people saying, is there any, any chance that Malik Monk plays tomorrow? Seen I've it, seen yeah. nothing. Yeah. I mean, anything is possible, but I've seen nothing. We'd probably start it. I, yeah, I, I don't think so. Um, but if it is going to happen, we would start to hear it in about an hour when they're at practice. Or he's going to give it a go. Exactly. Like, the, I'd imagine we'll, you know, I'm, I'm pretty sure there's practice today at 1215. I would imagine that question will be asked or, or maybe he'll be out there. Um, I would also just, this is a complete assumption, but Malik's probably going to try. Like, if he, you know, because we were hearing reports or seeing Chris Biederman in, in the Sacramento Bee saying, you know, he's ahead of schedule, feels good, wasn't expecting to feel this good. But he this hasn't soon. even been on the court. Has he has he? I mean, if if he's able to give it any sort of go, I think even a little Malik Monk is better than no Malik Monk. So I'm not saying it's going to happen, but if there's any even like a small percentage that it could happen, mm-hmm. I think they're going to kick the tires on it. If I'm of course Malik's got to play ball as well. He's the one who's got everything to lose. He's mm-hmm. entering free agency. So if he doesn't want to give it a go, if his future is more important, which is totally understandable, it is what it is. But I, I think that the competitor Malik Monk is at the very least going to kick the tires on it. He's going to see, is there any brace I could wear? Is there anything I can do? Hey, I'm not saying play me 30 minutes, but can I get two eight minute stints out there mm-hmm. where uh, eight minutes is probably long five minute stints out right. there where I can get it done. I, I think he's going to try. It's just going to be a matter of if he's healthy or not. Just don't don't and don't bank it. on it. Either. Yeah, like do it's not. just don't don't even get your hopes up. If it happens, it's gravy. It's probably not going to happen around the league and what we have going on Tuesday and Wednesday Lakers at Pelicans, okay, when the Lakers basically get a redo. And the Pelicans, this beef. is who they are. We have real beef with you. You know what I just thought days. about? It's go I am pretty sure it's going to be the Pelicans. I know they just lost to the Lakers, and I know Anthony Davis is a bit banged up. But going on the in-season tournament thing, this is exactly what the Pelicans did in the in-season tournament. Same opponent. They too. beat the brakes off the yeah. Kings, okay? Yeah. And then they went on to play the Lakers and got smacked. Yep. Yeah. And then they just got – all you had to do is win and you're not yeah. in the play-in yeah. and you didn't even – you got completely smacked. Yeah. Talk Again. About Talk about being in somebody's head. That's got to live in there, right? Like, I mean, the fact that Pelicans are playing for everything, mm-hmm. playing to lock down that six seed. And, I mean, we watched that whole game. They didn't have a chance from Jump Street. No. They did. They were blown out from wire to wire. Yeah. And the Lakers completely owned them. Didn't, didn't let them breathe for even a second. The Pelicans looked – almost unrecognizable from the team that had just lit up golden one center uh, a couple days before it really wouldn't surprise me. I mean, I, I think the the biggest thing is their stars have to be stars. Like, you know, as much as we say LeBron and AD, they can easily say Zion and BI plus CJ McCollum. Mm-hmm. It's just those guys have to show up and they did not show up on Sunday. And in that play in tournament, that kind of started this whole Zion train of now he's 25 pounds down and all that. We remember those initial Stephen A comments came after the in-season tournament and that kind of flipped things on its head. So it's got to, it's really on Zion. Like Zion's gotten a huge pass here mm-hmm. just in terms of the, the overall conversation around him. This is a dude that was supposed to be generational. He was yeah. supposed to be doing everything we see Wimby doing right now, all this stuff. He has not lived up to it, and it's definitely been because of injuries, but he's been healthy this year, 
and it has not been an MVP season for Zion. His team is in the seven seed right now. Like he's been individually good, but at some point this dude's got to be like clearly a, a, a talent that everybody's worried about him, but can he be a true number one right now? He's kind of floating with Brandon Ingram and CJ and, that's not how that situation was supposed to go down. No, and they're basically a team to me that they win the games that they're supposed to win. Sure, yeah. But then when there's any type of any anything on the line, yeah. it changes a bit because they took care of business against the Kings. They took and, and they're better than the Kings as the Kings are presently constructed. Sure. They took care of business against the Warriors, which maybe was a little bit surprising. And then you go and and you get smacked by the Lakers at home and they're another team where when things are going in their when they, when things are going the way they would like they look unbeatable right. and chris just quickly to go over our thought process going into the postseason mm -hmm. and who we were worried about we, we kind of were wrong on all fronts because dude, i was thinking about especially about the, phoenix the phoenix <laughs> how did phoenix they pull rose this like off? a phoenix yeah they yeah. pulled it off to stay out of the play-in it doesn't matter how they did it <laughs> And the Mavericks, who I right. think we had a little bit more belief in the Mavericks, but I don't think anybody saw it. Now, B.I. did go down for the yeah. Pelicans, but I don't think that we saw the Mavericks no, going on the like heater that. that they just went no. went on. No, yeah. I mean, definitely hats off to those teams, but, I mean, they, they also have top-tier talent. Like, mm -hmm. And that's, that's what that thing will do for you is, um, you know, your whole season can look one way, but then at the end of the year when everybody kind of takes it up to another level, that's mm -hmm. where – you want to have the best players in the league and you get Dallas who's got Luca and definitely Kyrie has stepped up huge and been that guy for them this year. But of course, KD, uh, even Brad, I think the biggest thing for Phoenix is Bradley freaking Beal. I mean, especially mm -hmm. after watching him against Sacramento, him in that fourth quarter, he took off. Yeah. And uh, I think a big part of that is Phoenix hadn't had any sort of consistency with all three of those guys. And now they've played something near 20 straight games in a row you kind of see them start to look like the team they're supposed to. It looks great now. Who knows if, if they'll be able to stay healthy through the duration of the playoffs. But, yeah, I mean, that I, I just got nothing to do but tip my hat to them because I, I thought Phoenix was dead in the water. I said, I'm not worried about them. They're in the play-in, no doubt. And I think they finished the season winning seven of their last ten. So, mm -hmm. um, And by far the toughest. I mean, we were joking about their schedule on a nightly basis. Yeah. And uh, – they didn't care. And that's what that's what, you know, I feel like I said, whatever happens at the end of this playoffs or or at the end of the regular season, every team will have earned their spot. And I would say Phoenix more so than anybody earned their spot in the playoffs. And, you know, you could definitely say New Orleans earned their spot in the play by tricking off that game. And we know the Kings definitely earned their spot where they're at right now. Looking at this a little bit differently at the end of the day, what's the worst that can happen? Styles and Watkins, yeah. Sacktown Sports. Last season, it was the playoffs. This time around, the season is on the line for the Kings and Warriors in the play-in game. And let me tell you, if you can't sense it, if you can't feel it through the radio, this place is absolutely nuts. Tuesday night at 7, the Kings and Warriors meet to see which team keeps their playoff hopes alive. Get all the must-hear action right here on Sacktown Sports and your proud home of the Sacramento Kings. It's a myth to think you don't play golf well enough to get fitted for golf clubs. The professionals at the Hagen Oaks Player Performance Studio would argue that playing the game with golf clubs properly fitted to your body and swing characteristics is the best way to improve your game and have more fun on the golf course. With a professional staff of fitters, all the major brands of equipment and cutting-edge technology featuring TrackMan, the indoor-outdoor Hagen Oaks Player Performance Studio is worth a look. See for yourself, Fulton Avenue at the Cap City Freeway. Schedule your fitting at 916-808-2531, 808-2531. Thinking of remodeling your home? Say goodbye to endless internet searches and visit Subcontractors United. Find a list of three pre-qualified and licensed contractors in each home service category. From cabinets to landscapers and everything in between, Subcontractors United makes finding qualified contractors free and easy with no accounts to set up. Visit subcontractorsunited.com and experience the joy of stress-free home improvement. Save time and money at subcontractorsunited.com.
like how many, his yeah, track list. Yeah. How cool many albums he has he put out at this point? Too short, too. I think he has like 27 he, albums. He'll put out like three albums a year, and there's like 25 songs on all of them. According to Wikipedia, he's put out 27 studio albums. Shut up. Seven collaborative albums. Oh six God. compilation albums. And one mixtape. The wildest thing I've seen him on is with this screamo band in like the early 2000s. He's just green screened in for their music video. Dude. It's like the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. E40 Bill of Font. That's good. I'll say it. I'm rambling. To rhyme and... <laughs> I, don't I don't even know what he says half the time. Yeah, he, that's 40. Right, it's front uncle, seat yeah. forty, yeah. Front, front row, front, front, front row, row forty, front row, yeah. row. I thought it was 40. front court, but it's front row, so it's part of me mm -hmm. earlier. Front, front row, 40. row forty. Well, speaking of the tickets huh. for the play-in, here you go. Lakers at Pelicans start at thirty-nine dollars. Heat at Seventy Sixers start at fifty dollars. Hawks at Bulls. How is Hawks at Bulls more expensive than Heat at Sixers? Hawks at Bulls, fifty-eight dollars. Warriors at Kings, Vivek's eyes turning green as we speak, $212. Yikes. That's insane. You won't catch me in the front. No, you, you will not you catch me. You will not me. catch me in the back row. No, no, that's that's insane, especially yeah. considering there would, I mean, I guess there might not be another home yeah, uh, they, playing we gotta game, get but this like, in. if I'm going to spend $212, it better be like a true, like, hey, win and get, and I don't, I, there's no re, I'm sorry, Kings, but there's no reason to spend that much money on the plan. Because if they win, then, I mean, obviously they would have to win another game, but more than hopefully there's playoff games that right. you could go to. If they lose, did you really want to pay 212 to see them lose a play-in game? Well, it's interesting it's because if, if it was in Golden State, you would say, hey, they have higher expectations, so maybe Golden State fans wouldn't be so willing to pay. So right. I do wonder who they're – I think it's just hardcore Kings fans. Right. I, Good. No, that's I think better for us. Well, yeah. I think this bodes well for Kings fans as far as the I would think so the breakdown of Warriors at Kings because I I don't know how yeah. many Warrior fans are going to cash out like yeah. that yeah and I, or that play in also could just be like a ticket limitation thing where yeah. it's like the Kings have already sold out or given their play in tickets to a lot of their mm -hmm. season ticket holders where Pelicans had just have a bunch in the open market um, and if the Lakers at Pelicans is only thirty nine dollars how much is that Kings at Pelicans ticket going to be. Because if the, I, I mean, anytime the Lakers are in town, like that's going to bring a huge 30, influx of fans. So it's like 30, 20. Yeah, that is <laughs> like, not. Yeah. You, you were talking about Zion before the break. That is not what we thought when he was busting out of his shoes. That's at LeBron Duke. versus Zion. LeBron versus Zion, $38. That, that is ridiculous. That's Nate, we got to make a remix because of these ticket prices. Catch me in the standing room. <laughs> Catch me in standing room only. Standing room 40. <laughs> <laughs> Media row styles. Yeah, that's all. <laughs> yeah, that's all you're gonna. Yeah. That's all you're gonna get out of me. But before the break, we were we were chatting about really flipping this thing on its head. And you talk about the equivalent of house money. Yeah, this is the Warriors. They're look. They're staring at Clay Thompson possibly walking and going to Orlando, taking boating to Orlando, and the big three being done. This is everything for the Warriors. When it comes to the Kings, nobody expects you to win. You're missing your third best player. Yeah. You're missing one of your starters. It is what it is. Yeah. And it's his big bag, Steph Curry, who just packed you up last season. So he's going to do it again. You're playing with house money. Yep. And at the end of the day, what's the worst that could happen? The Kings lose to the Warriors again. Yeah. I mean, I guess to me, after the after the after being up to 2 0, after being a three seed, after having the season that you had. I almost feel like nothing will burn because it's again, you're battling for last place. Yeah. You were literally battling for last place yeah. to, to eventually lose. Cause I don't think the Warriors are going to make any noise and maybe I'll be wrong to eventually lose at some point during the playoffs. So to me, the doom and gloom, I get it. You don't want to lose and right. to lose to those guys again, but after getting through last season, it just, I mean, well, how could it even really bug you that much i mean you're what can your expectations right. truly be in this season yeah no i hear everything you're saying i i think the only thing that you have to lose is i mean something that you've already like the season's already been disappointing i don't i mm. mean you could say it's going to be more it's just all compounding right yeah. like it's just oh we lose to the warriors again those feelings feel bad 
again, uh, the, the not making the, I, I think the worst part and the only thing you have to lose is something that everybody has to lose in this situation. And that's the reality of not making the playoffs, mm -hmm. the reality of your season ultimately equaling to nothing. But that's the same thing that the Warriors are playing with, the same things that the Lakers or the Pelicans will have to play with in the next game. So you really don't have much to lose except for reality sinking in that your season has been an actual, you can stamp it down as a disappointment. And we'll deal with that as it comes. But to your point, like this isn't a situation like the Warriors or the Lakers where those guys have been feeling the emotions, the hopium mm -hmm. has been going up. This King's situation has just been going downhill and downhill to the point where to your point it feels like everybody knows what it is at this point your expectations have already been tampered mm -hmm. they've already you, your feelings have probably already been crushed it's probably already been hurt so i don't really know what this game does in terms of losing except for just making it all a reality and last season you didn't really have any excuses i mean i know domas was banged up and De'Aaron fox had the finger but this season, you literally don't have a, a guy who balled out yes. for you against yeah. the Warriors and won a, and hit a game winner earlier this season yeah. in Malik Monk. So last season, the excuses were a bit tougher. This season, okay, Warriors, I mean, you beat us. You weren't even supposed to be here. Right. And the only reason we're here is because we're missing our third best player and one of our starters. Why are yeah. you here? Yeah. No, Why are absolutely. you here? Absolutely. Yeah. It's like, what's your excuse? Huh? Yeah. Like, we we've got we've got valid excuses. Your you have, excuses you have, just you tricked off games. You have four year. Hall of Famers on yep. your team, yep. and you're the ten seed. Yep. So yep. you want to celebrate beating a team that's missing two of their main rotation players? Yeah. Really? No, absolutely. It, it's uh, it, it's. And if you lose, you know, if you lose, <laughs> if the Warriors lose, if the war that's the, the that's, Warriors if lose, if the, the Kings, Warriors lose, the amount of just pain that that will bring the Warriors. Well, it, it definitely might be worth it. I, I know a lot of people called in and like maybe, yeah, like ultimately your season, it's kind of what we talked about earlier. Ultimately, your season doesn't go well, but mm -hmm. to hear the discourse that you personally oh, yeah. caused. Those Warriors Twitter spaces. It would be crazy. It would, it would be, be worth crazy. it. Crazy. It would they would be say worth maybe it. we should have kept Mike Brown. Oh, we had this dude in house. That's right. You know, it and we will, just let him go. It will all be said, <laughs> but crazy. you got to get it done. Got to get it done. When we return, how in the world did the Kings end up in this situation? Styles and Watkins, Sacktown Sports. They had never been in the playoffs in the same season, let alone play one another in a playoff series. That all changed last year in a first-round seven-game classic. Now, the rivalry continues Tuesday night in the 9 versus 10 play-in game. Winner moves on. Loser goes home. Kings, Warriors, Tuesday night at 7. On your home of the Kings, Sacktown Sports. Sacramento weather is brought to you by RC Willie Home Furnishings. I'm Tamara Berg in the KCR Ray 3 Weather Center. Your Monday will include a mix of sun and clouds. We'll call that partly sunny today, along with a light north wind just under 10 miles per hour. Afternoon highs, low 70s, and overnight lows in the low 50s. Get the latest forecast on the KCR Ray 3 News and the KCR Ray 3 app. If you need flooring, now is the time to buy during R.C. Willie's semi-annual flooring event. For just 10 days, you can save up to 40% on select carpet styles and pay just $39 for installation. R.C. Willie, your home, your way. Seems like all this artificial intelligence stuff stirs up the age-old debate of man versus machine. Hi, it's Dan from the Good Feet Store, and let me ask you, would you let a robot cut your hair? Would you rely on an app to teach a kid to ride a two-wheeler? Let's face it, some things require the human touch. People come to us seeking a solution to foot, leg, and back pain after trying all kinds of things recommended by in-store machines or website blurbs. An impersonal, generic approach to solving a problem that's unique to you. No wonder they usually don't work. At the Good Feet Store, you'll meet with an art support specialist who will take the time to learn about your needs, your feet, your lifestyle, and then fit you from over 300 models and sizes of art supports designed for pain relief, better balance, and more comfort. See what we can do for you with a free fitting. Just stop in or schedule an appointment. With over 200 stores, there's likely one near you. Find yours at goodfeet.com. Everybody needs good feet. For a precision-crafted performance, the decision is easy. A new Acura from Acura of Stockton. Get the driving experience you've been waiting for in a new Acura. Get the best selection and customer service you deserve from Acura of Stockton. Shop in person or use our online express store at acuraofstockton.com. 
Acura of Stockton will buy your trade, even if you don't buy from us. Don't settle for less than precision crafted performance of a new Acura from Acura of Stockton and AcuraofStockton.com. The PGA Club Fitters at the Hagen Oaks Player Performance Studio know that golf should be fun. They also know that players of all abilities will hit the ball farther and straighter, play better golf, shoot lower scores, and have more fun if they get fitted before they purchase golf clubs. Hagen Oaks delivers the same technology and major brands used to fit PGA and LPGA professionals. See how the game can be even more fun. Hagen Oaks Player Performance Studio fittings are available seven days a week. Make yours today by calling 916-808-2531. That's 808-2531. This is Kenny and Jerry from Bell Brothers Plumbing, Heating, and Air. Everyone knows that a group of fish is called a school, but did you know a group of giraffes is called a tower? Or how about a murder of crows, a quiver of cobras, a shadow of jaguars, a shiver of sharks, or a zeal of zebras? Wild, huh? So what do you call a group of Bell Brothers plumbers? They don't fit into any of the traditional plumber stereotypes. They're clean and well-dressed. They're on time and courteous. They're well-trained and friendly. They're exactly the kind of people you'd be comfortable and confident to invite into your home. That's why we proudly call them our family of plumbers. If you need a drain cleared or any other plumbing service, we'll send one of the family right over to help you out. Call Bell Brothers at 916-444-1234, or you can find us online at thenosurpriseguys.com. The no Surprise Guys, Bell Brothers. Country in the Park is back May 17th and 18th at Cal Expo with Brantley Gilbert, Dustin Lynch, Jay Cohen, Walker Hayes, and more. Tickets start at just 46 bucks. Country in the Park May 17th and 18th at Cal Expo. For more information, visit CITPFest.com. Brought to you by Tough Shed, new dog treatment sensors, and Raising Cane's Chicken Fingers. Guys, did you know your testosterone affects everything in your system, including how you feel and perform every day? Right now, Revive Men's Cells Sacramento will check your testosterone for free. Knowing your T level is the first step in understanding if you have low T. Your testosterone level impacts your energy, libido, sleep, weight, hair loss, mood, and even ED. Maintaining an appropriate T level can change your whole life. Most men start to see changes in their hormone levels in their 30s. Get your T-levels checked today by local, experienced, and trusted men's health experts. They're in Midtown in the Cal Sutter Medical Building and also offer telemedicine appointments. Plus, with free shipping directly to you, Revive takes the hassle out of treating low T and ED. Schedule your free testosterone test, free exam, and free consultation today. Call Revive Men's Health at 916-365-4566. That's 916-365-4566 or visit revivementshealth.com. Live and local. Live and local. This is Sacktown Sports. How did we get here? Well, it's fairly simple. The tricked off games, Wizards, Pistons, Hornets, Blazers. And then the Kings went on to lose five of their last six games. Excuse me, now five of their last seven. The ones that mattered. The Kings blew 15 double digit leads. And three of them were this month. And in the short month of April, that's right. <laughs> we played like what, like six games. Well, you games. figure the, and the, the, the double digit lead thing can be a little bit misleading, right? Because I, I don't know. We've discussed that line of what's okay. And, and what's not, whether that's 15 or is it 20? Right. I don't know, but it, it the Kings, they, they earned this, as you said earlier in the show. And, now they're going to have to get it out the mud. They're going to have to win two just to get in. And it's it's going to be tough, man. It, it's There's no other way to put it. But we've seen some flashes of a team, even without Malik, that could beat those Warriors. They could. The question is, how long does that team show up? And that team just hasn't shown up for four quarters. Yeah, I mean... Th- they exactly that's that's the key is playing four quarters of good basketball because I think you said it at the top of the show, but you know, I expect them to kind of come out with some energy, mm-hmm. maybe get up to a lead, maybe not. 
um, but ultimately like show some signs of life and then ultimately probably like a, a slow bleed or maybe there's just a big run that happens right. that they just can't can't overcome. Um, it's about putting it together for 48 minutes and uh, it's going to be tough. It's going to be dive. I mean, we talk about 50, 50 balls. It's going to be doing that. It's going to be forcing turnovers. You know, it, it's going to be an interesting decision of, you know, I know we've had that. I mean, I feel like the warriors were the thing that started this conversation with us of, are they going to blitz or not with Steph Curry? Who are they going to choose to be the guy that they are, they're willing to beat them? Uh, it, it's going to be an interesting game for sure. I mean, it, this is the fun, I guess, of a one game, one game play in is anything can happen. Like realistically, any, the, even though the Kings don't feel like they have a shot, they definitely can win in a one game situation. Warriors can go cold. Um, you know, you can game plan the right thing. I think ultimately the game plan I want to see, or the, or the game script, I guess is, is just try and be in it for, for, you know, three quarters and, that fourth quarter, give it everything you've got. The Warriors have played more clutch games than any team in the NBA. You could say that's good uh, for them because they have the experience in those situations. I'm seeing that number 48, by the way, 48 of their 82 games have come down to being within five points in the last five minutes. That tells me that you're never really out of it with the Warriors. Mm -hmm. Even if you're, if you're up a ton, got to be wary that they can make that comeback. But at the same time, they have been in tons of these situations with the whole spread of team. I mean, they've got games against Chicago like this. They've got games against, you know, Denver and Jokic, where Jokic right. hits that half court crazy heave. Mm -hmm. um, OKC, they've, like they, they have done this against just about everybody. I know they've been a completely different team uh, post all-star break, but ultimately this team does end up playing really, really close games. You just want to be in it in that clutch time. Whatever happens, happens. They've got this year's Clutch Player of the Year probably in Steph Curry. You've got last year's Clutch Player of the Year in De'Aaron Fox. You just got to give yourself a chance with five minutes to go. So even if it is a big run, you can't get too down on yourself. You just got to keep chipping away at it and try and make it as close as possible with five minutes to go. Yeah. And 24 and 24, by the way, they are. Yeah. In, in those 48 games. Okay. So, you know, they've literally won some and yep. lost some. It yep. depends on kind of kind of how you look at it. I think that the ball pressure that Keon and Davion sure. right. ha will be able to create is something that the Warriors haven't seen. Yeah, they they've they've beat the the Kings with Malik. They've lost to the Kings with Malik, but they have not seen Keon Ellis. Yep, they have not seen Dave the combination of Keon, Davion, and De'Aaron Fox, and that is something that I think is going to throw them for a bit of a loop. Kings have not seen the Warriors with Trace Jackson Davis. And I'll, and I'll right. put it to you like this. Sabonis, I know we we had J.D. on on the morning show, and J.D. said, hey, the, the numbers maybe didn't look that bad for Sabonis, but he didn't have a good series. That's, yeah. how, that's how J.D. put it. And I am a little bit worried about Sabonis on Trace Jackson Davis. He is athletic, which should bode well. He, he's not – He's not crazy, crazy athletic, so he's right in that middle ground to where, and to be honest with you, he's got a mentor. Kevon Looney has not really been playing, mm -mm. so he's got a mentor in Kevon Looney that can say, hey, this is what Sabonis likes to do. You know, we're going to watch the film together, even though they only have a couple days to to kind of prepare, but that, that worries me, Sabonis, and how important he is. So bonus's ability to score and get the offense rolling as he typically does, that worries me more than the guard than the guard play, to yeah. be completely honest with you. Yeah. No, I, I'm sure we're gonna talk break it down a lot more tomorrow, but um I, I think I actually like the Sabonis match. And I know this is possibly famous last words because we here in Sacramento really liked the Sabonis yes, Kavon Looney matchup. Yeah. That was that was the one that we circled as the oh, this is a clear win mm -hmm. for Sacramento, but um, I would just say that Trey Jackson Davis is not Kavon Looney. Like Kavon Looney does possess, not to sound like uh, Liam Neeson in, in Taken, but he does have a very particular set of skills. Yes. And those set of skills definitely lend itself to make life tough on Sabonis. Looney was a fantastic rebounder and uh, a guy who's a freaking bull. Like mm -hmm. you can't move Kavon Looney. That shoulder, shoulder, shoulder doesn't really work against Kevon Looney because he's just got a, a great base and doesn't really move easily. 
I don't know. This is this is where I haven't watched a ton of Warriors. I don't know if Trace Jackson Davis can bang like that. He's smaller. He's more Draymond size than he is uh, Sabonis size. He's a lot more close to that six eight smaller center. Um, he is a great athlete. He's caught some bodies this year. He's also a really good defender as well. I've seen him block, uh, meet a couple people at the rim as well. Um, so that's kind of somewhere where Looney doesn't really provide that. But it's just going to be interesting to see how Sabonis does with that matchup in general, because that's, you could argue that's the X factor matchup for the Kings. If the bonus can completely dominate that matchup. And I'm talking 23, 24, 25 plus and hold trace Jackson Davis to under 10 and, and just dominate. That's, that's how this game can become a lot more interesting and, and probably lean more towards the Kings. I mean, if Sabonis has a big game, I think that does so much for opening up everybody else's game. I think that was the problem last year was Sabonis couldn't get other people going and couldn't get himself going. Mm -hmm. I think they kind of go hand in hand. It's going to really come down to things like that. Can you win your matchup? Can Keegan hit more threes than Clay Thompson? We know Steph is going to do what Steph does, but mm -hmm. can De'Aaron try and, again, 30 points? Can he try and match what Steph is bringing and then, yeah, you, of course, you've got to get some contributions. I think we had a caller earlier mention how important the bench is going to be. You've got to get something. You've got to, you can't get 12 points out of Davion and Trey Lyles combined. Those two specifically have to provide something off the bench because the Warriors have Pajemski. They've got CP. They've got Modi Moses. They've got, uh, you know, we don't know if Kaminga is going to play or not, but yeah. they've got a bench. So they're going to get some production from that side. King's got to be able to match it somewhat. Yeah, Trey Lyles is going to be huge. He's got him. Yeah, he's Trey Lyles be because that's just another guy that the that the Warriors would have to respect. Yes, and if Trey he came back from injury and he was hot, mm -hmm. he's cooled off a little bit, hoping that he can get back on the right track. Yeah, I, I think Trey Lyles is going to be incredibly huge. important yeah. on on multiple fronts. He was big but, in the playoffs too. It was really yeah. kind of as simple as Trey hit a couple threes. Kings got a chance. Trey wasn't really a big factor in some of those mm -hmm. games and. The Kings really didn't have much of a chance in, in those games. Yeah, you have to make up for for that production yeah. and that you're missing with Malik Monk. And we've seen spurts of it. Yeah, we've seen spurts of it, but it just hasn't been happening on a on a consistent basis. Yeah. And that's why all these numbers and you know it talks about what the what the Kings have done with sure. Malik out. And you okay since Malik Monk's injury, they're fifth in defensive rating, they're ninth in offensive rating, but they're four and six. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, that's, yeah, and that's really interesting. One of those things has to, or I, yeah, it depends which number you want to focus on. I, I think the, that was the one thing I was going to say is I do think the Kings' defensive style right now does lend itself a little bit better to a team, uh, to a team like the Warriors, where, like you said, they turn the ball over like crazy, and the Kings are just playing the deflection game. They're trying to create chaos. So if the Warriors can play into that, and yeah, like you said, if the Kings can get 15 20 turnovers on golden state that's another way that this game becomes a whole lot better if the kings can win the offensive rebounding advantage in this game we know the warriors warriors dominated the offensive glass in in that series if the kings can take advantage of that this is how they have a chance this is how they have more than a chance this is how they make it more a, a, a game that's of their style if the kings are going to get into you know that i think it was game four or game i think it was game Four, where the HB missed three, 124, 123. They can't win those games. I don't think they can even play those games anymore. We've seen them. I think you said it earlier. Like we've seen them start hot and then just completely crap the bed in the second right. half. I don't know if they can shoot like that for 48 minutes anymore. No, no. And they've shown that they can't. Yeah. Right. And that's why they haven't been able to, to finish the job in a lot of these games. Coming up next, we will hear. From those in the Bay, from Steve Kerr and everyone's favorite warrior, Draymond Green. Like Styles and Watkins, Sacktown Sports. A year ago, Steph Curry and the Golden State Warriors ended the Sacramento Kings season. Tuesday, the Sacramento Kings have a chance at revenge in the play-in game. Join Sacktown Sports for complete coverage on air and online with guests, previews, and predictions for the win-or-go-home Northern California battle. Kings and Warriors. Tuesday at 7, on your home of the Kings, Sacktown Sports at sacktownsports.com. 
I'm Ken Korak with your Green and Gold Report, brought to you by Xfinity 10G, the network made for streaming. Well, on the same week, the A's announced that beginning next year, they'll be playing at Sutter Health Park until the move to Las Vegas. Paul Blackburn did some very impressive things on the mound. When he blanked the Tigers for six innings in Detroit, it gave him 13 consecutive scoreless frames to begin the season, the fourth best total in Oakland history, the record being set by Matt Keogh with 16 back in 1980. Want more speed? Well, Xfinity just increased their internet speeds, and they're faster than ever. It's time to get more out of your internet with faster speeds from Xfinity. Now through June 21st, get 150 megabit Xfinity internet for only $19.99 a month for 12 months with one year contract. That's double the speed for the same great price. Click, call, or visit a store today. Requires paperless billing and auto pay with store bank account. Restrictions apply. Equipment, taxes, and other charges extra. After promo, regular rates apply. Actual speeds vary. I'm Craig Ashton of the Injury Law Firm of Ashton and Price. Whether you've been injured on a bicycle, as a pedestrian, in a slip and fall, auto, Uber, Lyft, or big rig accident, you need Ashton and Price in your corner. When you call Ashton and Price, there's no chatbot telling you to hit three for accounting. You're greeted by a real life person who will immediately transfer you to an experienced attorney. The consultation's free, and there's never a fee until you win. Remember, for the best advice, don't think twice. Call Ashton and price what's the room again uh 1240 down at the end Ooh, what's that sammy don't touch that that's someone's old food here we are do you have the key you have both of ours oh right not working rub it come on try flipping it over seriously why can't we go inside i'm tired give me yours you have mine all right what? please if you Dad, could just why aren't you opening the door? can everyone just shut the don't go there go on a real vacation go rving learn more at GoRVing.com. Are you a victim of the timeshare trap and think there's no way out? I'm Chuck McDowell, founder of Wesley Financial Group, the original timeshare cancellation expert. And I'm here to tell you that there is a way out. All you need to do is give my office a call. I will send you a timeshare exit information kit absolutely free, explaining how the timeshare industry works and your options for cancellation. Call Wesley now for your free info kit. 800-881-4242. That's 800-881-4242. Don't pay retail for your diamond engagement ring or gift. Come to cleanorigin.com. Founded by a leading family in the diamond industry for more than a century, we're experts in lab-grown diamonds because that's all we do. Clean Origin, the only diamond jewelers who give you a 100-day, no questions asked return on your purchase. Head to cleanorigin.com or one of our retail stores and mention code RADIO10 for an additional 10% off your purchase. That's clean O. R-I-G-I-N dot com, code Radio 10. Ooh, ma. What was that? That is business phone bliss with the UMA cloud phone system. It handles all our voice, video, and messaging needs. You sound very calm. I am. UMA has everything I need to run my business more efficiently, like virtual receptionist, call routing, and video conferencing. And it starts at just $19.95 per month per user, plus taxes and fees. UMA. Nice. Find your business calm at UMA.com slash radio. It's Coach Doug Christie here to remind you, if you want a deal that's a slam dunk, go see the winning team at Folsom Lake Ford. Folsom Lake Ford is your truck headquarters with all your American-made favorites, like America's best-selling F-Series, F-150s, and Super Duties, or spacious new Explorers and Expeditions, plus a huge selection of Broncos and Bronco Sports, all in stock now at Folsom Lake Ford. In the Folsom Auto Mall, you can buy any new Ford with zero down on approved credit, save big with low interest finance rates and Folsom Lake Ford always pays top dollar for your trade. Check out the huge selection of inventory online at FolsomLakeFord.com or stop by the dealership to see their most recent arrivals. Looking for something special? Give them a call and tell them Doug Christie sent you. They'll help you out. Hurry to Folsom Lake Ford in the Folsom Auto Mall, your trusted dealer, my trusted dealer for over 35 years and counting. Once upon a time, you could get a heater tune-up or an air conditioner tune-up for just $59 or both for $89. Not too hot, not too cold, just right. I thought you were going to read me a bedtime story. Go to sleep now. <sighs> Bonnie.com. License 696-355.
energy. Mm-hmm. That game seven energy. I was thinking about that energy on the car ride in this morning. I was like, Ugh. like it was just such a an interesting, interesting feeling. I mean, obviously we haven't felt that in a very long time here, but it was uh you could just feel like the dis and you know that game maybe is a particular case because it was over pretty much by the time the third quarter was over, but you just felt the the sadness in the room. Like you could tangibly feel the just the the tension in the air um of just disappointment. And uh, I don't think I don't think it'll be to that level because it's not you don't have the the six games leading into it of emotion, but Ultimately, I definitely think people are just going to be disappointed that the season is over. We're not even making the playoffs. There was supposed to be so much forward momentum, and it feels like all of that is just completely stopped in its tracks. Yeah, and not the best comparison here, okay. but you know when when something when something tough happens to a, a, a friend or family member out of the blue, it's really difficult to, right. to take, right? When you kind of see something coming, obviously it's still really tough, but you've almost prepared yourself. Sure. Doesn't make it easier, right. but you've prepared yourself. Right. And I feel like it's that's not so sudden. No. Yeah. And I think last season was such a whirlwind. Yeah. And not to say it wasn't sudden, but going into this season with losing, well, first of all, underachieving with Malik Monk yeah. and Kevin Herter, then losing Malik Monk and Kevin Herter, I think that this one will hurt, but. Mm-hmm. You're 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 kind building of ex- towards it you're expecting it to end yeah. at some point, whether it ends tomorrow night or right. Friday, yeah. or and maybe or you sneak in right. and then that happens. And I know everybody feels good about the Thunder, right. but what happens if you get swept by the Thunder? Yeah, yeah. so I, I think it feels a little bit different than last season. Yeah, I, I would say so. I, I definitely think so. I think, uh, yeah, just in general, too, like it hasn't been as high as it was last year. I think everybody, obviously, there's so many high moments um, all the way up to the Kings even getting the three seed. And then, yeah, like you said, this year, it's just felt like people are already disappointed. People have already been upset at what's going on. I don't know if people will get more upset. Maybe they'll get louder about mm-hmm. it because uh, they will have been physically proven right. But um I think ultimately, yeah, I think, uh, you know, yeah, I I guess we're going to have to see. It'll be really interesting, the emotions that that people will feel. I definitely think there's going to be a lot of anger, a lot of frustration, a lot of people upset that the Kings didn't aggressively try and get better this year. But, um, you know, it will also be ultimately a a pushback of, like you've been saying, I don't think they were going to win much this year anyway. So how much of those conflicting uh, emotions kind of, is where people where are people going to to ultimately land at the warriors are preparing for their playoff run and hoping that it's another long one in their mind they've already beaten the the kings that's not steve kerr though we know steve kerr takes everybody seriously and here he is talking about the matchup well it'd be great atmosphere um we were there last year obviously and um you know they'll they'll have their their crowd behind them and um, it's nice to not get on a plane um so we'll uh, we'll take the bus up there tomorrow and um you know have a a day to prepare and be ready to go i will say he is right um that is the one one the only positive about the warriors being so close is that it will be truly like a very unique sports experience mm-hmm. not often do you get like two fan bases in the same building for an elimination game with the proximity of everything, you know, right. like this is, you know, of course, like Michigan, Ohio state are big and, you know, maybe they'll section off in a, a one section or two, three sure. sections of Ohio state fans, but you're going to have a ton of warrior fans sprinkled all throughout this. And it's going to be about as close to a neutral environment as you're going to get, which isn't good for the Kings. Of course, you want that to be as much of your fan base as possible, but mm-hmm. from the pure sporting wide view of it like you're getting both fan bases in the building both are in this game for completely different reasons and you know whatever happens is going to happen but the environment is going to be crazy if the Warriors play well and and win and blow out the Kings those Warrior fans are still going to be loud there's going to be a lot of tension in the air for sure Mm -hmm. but if the Kings win like you get to you know you you just you get to get to trash talk on the way out like I think it's just a really unique environment that you usually 
I don't think any, maybe like Lakers Clippers, uh, if you had like Nets Knicks, but there's just not many situations where you're this close and the fan bases can kind of co-mingle like that. Yeah, last season was different. You know, you got a three and a, and a teams, six yeah, seed. Yeah. I think that the Kings are in a cool position and Kings fans are in a cool position because, again, the Warriors, they didn't expect to be here. The Kings didn't either. Right. But you essentially have a lot of your squad, the Warriors do, and it was just tough for the Kings down the stretch. So if the Warriors win, the trash talking is just, oh, yeah, your little brother or whatever, but you're still the eighth seed, yeah. and you're probably not. If neither team is going to win the I thought whole only thing, championships matter. Exactly. Well, and that's, that's my whole point. Sudden, Whereas yeah. Kings fans, you can still say, hey, you guys have a top 10 yeah. player of all time, and you can't even get out of the plan. Or you yeah, lost. y'all can't beat us. Right. You know? Yeah, exactly. So I think that is at least a, a cool thing that yeah. the that the Kings could hold over their head yeah. if you win. Yeah. I will say Warrior fans are incredibly annoying. So I, I do also hate the fact that it's going to be 30%. It is a cool environment, but mm-hmm. uh, it doesn't make it any more enjoyable because, you know, yeah, Warrior fans, they they obviously have, well, if, if they've got their their rings and all the stuff that they got. So, um, you know, they're, they're usually loud and obnoxious about it. And it is really funny to hear them, you know, at, uh, through one side of their mouth say, uh, huh, huh, we beat you. You guys are our sons, whatever. But then at the other side say, Oh, like, it doesn't matter if you're not winning rings. Like, Oh, okay, cool. You guys want to, want to play in game real exactly. happy for you. So, um, just, just be prepared for that. And, uh, you know, ultimately if the Kings win, that building's going to be insane. Yeah. I, I, it's going to be like, I, I don't know if we've really gone through anything. I mean, obviously this is the first time the Kings have been in this play in tournament at all in franchise history. So it's completely unchar- uncharted territory, but who knows? You might, you might see like uh, the fan version of, of Patrick Beverly jumping on the scores table. If the Kings win, people are going to be hyped because of the, the little expectations that I think people have walking into it. Would it avenge last season? No, no. It'd be close though. I think it would it would be it would be a very nice it'd be a very, very nice feather in your cap for sure. Especially if Malik doesn't play. That's that's a that's a pretty nice consolation prize. It's not as good, but it's it's about as close as you're gonna get at this point. From Josh in Santa Cruz, I see online wow. if Kings win tomorrow and the Lakers lose. Kings would play in LA. Is that correct? Yes. Overall record beats head to head. Yeah, the head to head's done. It doesn't because matter. of where yeah. they finish. Seven so, eight. Yep, they're gonna get to home. Yeah, I mean the Lakers had they are higher. Yep, that's it's over. So the Kings win, Lakers lose. Yeah, they would be in LA. They would. They would. I be believe that'll be LA. on Thursday as well. I thought it was Friday. I'm not 100 percent sure. Yeah, okay, I haven't, I haven't double checked that. Well, that was just they got a win for you to. Yeah, we, we'll we cross that bridge when we get there. How that, about that? That's correct. When we return, got some sound from Draymond. He Ooh. kind of calls the Kings game managers. Of course. Also, everybody's been waiting for it. We're doing it right here at 12, assessing Mike Brown's season. Styles and Watkins, Sacktown Sports. Light the beam! Light it! Subscribe to Sacktown Sports on YouTube and watch the Carmichael Dave Show with Jason Ross, Styles and Watkins, and the Drive Guys. Live Monday through Friday from 6 to 6. Plus view archive shows and exclusive content. Subscribe at youtube.com slash Sacktown Sports. I didn't ask to be thrown in the streets with nowhere to go. I didn't think I'd survive. But I did ask for help. And Covenant House was there for me. One in 10 young adults will experience a form of homelessness this year. For these kids who didn't ask to be put in this unthinkable situation, Covenant House is there. Covenant House helped me break the cycle of homelessness in my family. They gave me the love that I needed. Over 2,000 young people will sleep safely in a Covenant House bed tonight. When youth who are experiencing homelessness have a hot meal, a safe place to sleep, medical care, and love, they can overcome heartbreaking challenges and have a brighter future. They just really genuinely just wanted to help me succeed and I'm succeeding. I'm a, I'm a speaker, I'm an author. Covenant House really helped me and really helped mold me into the woman I am today. If you or someone you love is asking for help, go to safeplacetosleep.org today. 
Only one radio program captures the excitement of hunting and fishing as it happens. The award-winning California Sportsman with Sepp Hendrickson. Only California Sportsman takes you where the action is, live on the water, live in the blind, and live with the top pros and experts in outdoor sports. California Sportsman with Fishing Hall of Famer Sepp Hendrickson is your premier destination for all things outdoors. Sepp Saturday Morning Outdoors. All to the vast in California Sportsman, 5 a.m. to 8 a.m. Saturdays on Sacktown Sports 1140. At aimyourdigital.com, we'll help you target the right audience, build your leads, and crush your quota. Take your business to the next level. Our digital marketing strategies help grow awareness of your product or service, all while building trust in your business. Our approach involves leveraging multiple tools and strategies to deliver exceptional results that are customized to your unique business needs. Don't wait to run out of sales leads. Keep your business growing. Get started with aimyourdigital.com today. Thunder, feel the thunder. It ignites something inside of you. Lightning and the thunder, thunder. Sets alight an elevated state of being. Days are pure exhilaration. And the nights, they're simply electric. See it, hear it, feel it. Thunder, feel the thunder. Lightning and the thunder. Thunder Valley Casino Resort. Feel the thunder. The Arnold Law Firm has seen how an injury can turn anyone's life upside down. Whether it's a slip and fall, a car accident, or any other kind of injury, for almost 50 years, the Arnold Law Firm has been here to help you through the entire process to protect you and your family. If you are ever injured or in an accident, call the Arnold Law Firm. The Arnold Law Firm, providing real justice for you since 1975. Call 916-777-7777. That's 916-777-7777. Contact Tax Relief Helpers for details and restrictions. Attention anyone that owes money to the IRS. The IRS has restarted aggressive enforcement actions against taxpayers who owe back taxes that were temporarily suspended for COVID. If you owe $10,000 or more, you must hear this because now is the time to clear your IRS tax debt. A special toll-free number has been established so you can stop penalty fees, avoid liens, levies, and other hostile measures by the IRS. Call Tax Relief Helpers right now at 800-934-9217. Tax Relief Helpers will provide you with the maximum protection afforded by law. I got behind on my taxes and owed $48,000. I didn't know what to do. I called called and they got my bill lowered to just $3,500. I owed $87,000 in taxes and it was scary. I got the amount I owed down to just $3,500. I saved $83,500. If you owe money to the IRS, don't wait another day. Call 800-934-9217 right now before the IRS enforces liens, levies, and other aggressive measures. The call and consult are absolutely free. Call now. Call 800-934-9217. 800-934-9217. 800-934-9217. Nighttime is the right time to track your golf ball's flight time at the Hagen Oaks Top Tracer Driving Range. It's more relaxed at night with people enjoying the top tracer technology where you can play Pebble Beach at Hagen Oaks. You can compete against your friends in a variety of games or just practice with the top tracer television technology. There's food when you're hungry from the hangout food truck or enjoy a craft beer on the brand new patio with relaxed seating. And don't forget the summer long free concert schedule. It's the Hagen Oaks Driving Range nightly until midnight, Fulton Avenue at Cap City Freeway. Guys, did you know your testosterone affects everything in your system, including how you feel and perform every day? Right now, Revive Men's Cell Sacramento will check your testosterone for free. Knowing your T level is the first step in understanding if you have low T. Your testosterone level impacts your energy, libido, sleep, weight, hair loss, mood, and even ED. Maintaining an appropriate T level can change your whole life. Most men start to see changes in their hormone levels in their 30s. Get your T-levels checked today by local, experienced, and trusted men's health experts. They're in Midtown in the Cal Sutter Medical Building and also offer telemedicine appointments. Plus, with free shipping directly to you, Revive takes the hassle out of treating low T and ED. Schedule your free testosterone test, free exam, and free consultation today. Call Revive Men's Health at 916-365-4566. That's 916-365-4566 or visit revivementshealth.com. This segment is brought to you by Aztec Solar. Skip the sales pitch. Calculate your solar savings at yourpowersavings.com. From the Power Business Technology Toshiba Studios, KHTKAM Sacramento, KYMX HD2 Sacramento, the only station in Sacramento giving you local sports coverage from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday through Friday. Sacktown Sports. Sports. 
Sacktown Sports. Call or text at 916-339-1140. If they're one and done, that's a colossal failure. They got to get through at least two games, but if they don't, to me, it says, okay, guys, it's time to start turning the page. That is Monty Poole of NBC Sports Bay Area. On what is at stake, he joined the Warriors flagship station. What's interesting about that is even if they do get into the playoffs, I would think you still need to start turning the page. I would think so. I mean, yeah, like you said, like you're you're battling for last place right now. Even if you do end up making the playoffs, you were an eight seed. Right. Who knows what ends up happening against OKC, but do you really feel like you want to lock down what you got going on right, right now? I mean, it just feels like the Warriors, even last year, I would argue that you probably should have turned the page on the big three and, and got moving on that. I, w- I would definitely say no matter what, they should probably be considering what's the other side look like. Coming up, we are going to play some sound from Draymond where he uses a term for the Kings that I asked Chris, hey, have you heard of this before? And Chris said no. And I had ways to insult us. Yes, and it's kind of a backhanded compliment, so you won't want to miss that. But we want to open up the phone lines right here, 916-339-1140, and ultimately just assess reigning coach of the year, Mike Brown, on this season. Earlier, Chris, when we were talking about the fact that Mike Brown has an opportunity to make some changes and you want to see different things, this is from the 916. So you're saying Mike Brown needs to coach and have a game plan and tell these 20-year-old kids, or a little bit older than 20, exactly what's needed to win, dot, dot, dot. Yep, for sure. Wish we had done that at the end of the Suns game, and maybe we wouldn't be here. That's from Folsom Mike. So feels like you're projecting there, Mike. Well, it feels like this is an opportunity for the players, and it's also the opportunity for Coach Mike Brown, who I, I don't think that a lot of people are coming down his road, but these blown leads – Everybody's going to get some blame and Mike Brown definitely is going to get some blame. So as you look at this season, I guess, how hard is it to assess coach Mike Brown before this game? How much is riding on this game? Because my guess is that you think not that much. Yeah, I don't think so. I mean, I I don't think that much is riding on it. I think in general, I would say the hot seat is starting to get hot for not just Mike Brown, but for Monty McNair as well. I mean, especially if this team, does end up losing this first play in game. And ultimately you, you pretty much are deemed as the 10 seed Mm -hmm. uh, in the Western conference when things are all said and done. I I think both of those guys. And when I say hot seat, I just mean you have a year to kind of get the ship straight again, or else we, we might need to consider steering to another course. Mm -hmm. I I think uh, they definitely don't need to be fired. I don't think their, their jobs need to even remotely come in question, but absolutely uh, you you have to establish the fact that if we have another year like we just had, it's not going to be good enough for us. So, you know, you're allowed to to kind of let things slip. Again, I would continue to ask what specifically about Mike Brown is, is are people complaining about um, people say no game plan? Well, what does that mean? Are you saying the Kings aren't a good first half team because they've been one of the best first half teams in the league? If you're saying he's bad at adjustments. I think that's something. The Kings have been bad. You've chronicled it here, especially recently. The third quarters have been tough. Mm -hmm. But how much of that as well is look at their shooting percentages in those quarters. Are they just missing open looks? I I think there's a tons of reasons. So if you want to give me specific things, not you, but if in in general people want to give specifics of what they haven't liked of Mike Brown, I'm very willing to hear it. But ultimately, I think it's been an up and down season. What are you supposed to do? Kevin Herter shot 36% on the same threes he was taking last year. I don't think that's Mike Brown's fault. Keegan Murray didn't knock down the same amount of shots that he hit last year. I don't know if that's Mike Brown's fault. Uh, You could say, hey, maybe going away from Harrison Barnes as much as they did early in the year. You can put that on Mike Brown. Absolutely. Uh, You know, uh, I'm trying to think of of something. If you didn't like his rotations, if you felt like all year he he never really gave Sasha a good enough chance, I definitely will, will hear you out on there. I think Mike Brown had a good year. He definitely didn't have a great year. I mean, when we talk about some coaches who have been able to elevate their rosters while other guys are out, I definitely don't think the Kings did a lot of that. But, you know, he he had the, the gusto of putting 
Keon Ellis into the rotation and, and, you know, was, was willing to work it out with Keon. Uh, you know, he ultimately did find that Alex Len was the backup center for this team and, and, you know, going to JaVel as often as they did wasn't the right move. So I think there's been some hits. I definitely think there's been a lot of misses, but I, I think everybody has played, um, their their own equal part in it. So I, I wouldn't put his blame above anybody else's. I don't know if I would put his blame necessarily at the bottom, though. Sabone so has played 82 of 82 yep. games. Fox played 74 of 82. Monk played 72 of 82. Murray played 77 of 82. And Barnes played 82 of 82. If I told you that at the beginning of the season and then said, they ended up being a nine seed. I think the question, yeah, the question is if somebody reg regresses, they also won two less games than they won last year. So if I told you Mike Brown had the same roster, except Malik Monk misses the final 10 games, mm -hmm. Kevin Herter shoots 4% worse than he shot last year from three. Keegan Murray doesn't take that much of an offensive mm -hmm. leap and none of the off season free agency moves work out. The Kings finished two games worse than they were last year. I won't tell you seeding, won't tell you anything else. I'm just going to tell you that the Kings won two games less. A little bit of disappointment for sure, but ultimately, I think two games isn't that bad, all, all of those factors considered. Now, you could definitely say, hey, they were in position to easily win four more games because of the amount of blown opportunities that we've talked about. What, 13, 15 double-digit blown leads? Like, you could definitely argue half of those, five of those right. going your way. It's a completely different season. But I think you have to take those on individual. Ba what happened in those games? Did people not hit shots? Were the Kings not ready? Was the game plan there, but the players didn't come out with the necessary attention to detail? I don't know, but I, I think it's too tough. It's too long of a season also to just blanket and say, this this all ends up coming down to Mike Brown. I, I just think, I, I kind of think that's lazy. Well, I think the question, I think the, the bottom line is when coaches get fired, I, my issue to some degree with what you're doing, it's not really an issue with what you're doing. Yeah. It's just a matter of if people thought like, I just need it just to flip it back to you. It's like specific issues that would constitute a coach being fired. Yeah. Coaches get fired all the time because sure, shots it might not be their fault get not. missed. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, so, totally. I'm, so I but guess that's fine. He can yeah. get fired. Yeah. I just think people are saying he's doing a bad job. Sure. And I think those are two possibly different conversations. Should he get fired versus is he doing a good job? I mm -hmm. think are two different things. And I just think too much. I see people saying he's not doing a good job. And I've just seen way too many coaches actually do bad jobs to say Mike Brown isn't doing enough with this team. Could he yeah. do more? Is there better op? Maybe like, as I'm, I'm not saying Mike Brown is the best coach in the league and we shouldn't question anything he does, but um, there's a lot of bad coaches out there. And Mike Brown to me just is not one of them. You can even look at, just look at career winning percentage. I know Mike Brown's been in some great, some great situations, but this dude, let's not forget. Like he walked into this situation just as everyone else has with just losing, losing, losing in their history. And he was the one coach who didn't, fall victim to losing. Dave Yeager was a great coach in in Memphis. He still fall, fell to losing. Luke Walton, I'm not going to throw Luke Walton in there, but there's been coaches in the past here. Yeah. Even Mike Malone. Look at Mike Malone now, and you can argue the Kings got him maybe a, a couple years too early in his coaching, but Mike Malone was a great coach. He gave us about as much hope as possible. Mike Malone still had losing seasons here. So I, I just I push back when people say Mike Brown isn't doing enough because watching what, how he handles his team and how the team respects him, I've just seen way too many situations where that hasn't even been close to the case. And I, 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 I'm not saying he's blameless at all. And I'm not saying he, he won't be fired or anything like that. But I, I just think I get a little upset when people are placing the blame too much on somebody who I just don't think deserves it. Yeah. And it, and it comes, I think the tough part is Monty McNair also. Yeah. Like it, Monty McNair's deserves some, the thing is, you're going to get different answers when it comes what you're saying and, and shots not going in. You're just always going to. And that's what sports talk is. You're always going to get a different answer on, as to whose right. fault it is, yeah. because when you yeah, when you have that conversation of, well, he's not shooting the basketball and he's putting people in the right positions. At some point, someone's going to say, 
I mean, clearly it's just whatever it is, it's right. not working. Right. Whatever it is. I could even push it on my side. Mike Brown's practicing them too much. And that's why they're tired. That's yeah. why they're not making shots is because every time they land 30 minutes later, they mm-hmm. have a practice. So yeah, yeah, absolutely. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. And mm-hmm. some people don't see it that way. 916-339-1140. Let's get to Ken who wants to be part of the conversation. What's up, Ken? What you got for us? Hey, man, I gotta, I, I gotta say, man, I want to give Mike Brown some love, man. Mm-hmm. We only a few games out from what we won last year. You know what I'm saying? We have to see that, man. That's consistency. He has kept us consistent, consistent with what we got. Our bench is terrible. You know what I'm saying? Now we we can see how Monk is a big part of our team, man. Big puzzle to our team as far as winning some of these basketball games. Because we all you know a lot of these basketball games was won by Monk, by Monk being in the lineup. You know, so I'm going to say uh, Duarte has not panned out, and you guys already have spoken on it. But you guys, you got four guys that have not panned out on the bench, who has not helped us at all. And Mike Brown continues to coach this team to success. I understand we're in the playing game, but if we were on the East Coast, man, we would what we what we would be fifth or sixth mm-hmm. in the playoffs, just waiting for the playoffs to start. We have to understand, man. This guy is a hell of a coach. And man, we should be blessed to have him. You callers out there, fans out there, call in. Name a coach that would be uh, a successful coach that you would be that would be better than Mike Brown. Call in. I want to hear his name because his name is for Sacramento for us to be successful to get better. McNair, you got to get us a better bench. We got to get some of these, you know, scrubs off the squad. I guarantee you, man. You give Mike Brown more to work with, he'd be even more successful. And I'm out. Thanks for the call, Ken. Yeah. Hey, yeah. you want to give flowers to Mike Brown? We appreciate it. And if you're going off of who was it, Bill Simmons, who said that the the Kings have the worst right. two through not or three through nine. Three through nine is what he said. So if, if I, was that the Western Conference or every it had to be the I think Western he was Conference. talking Western Conference specifically, but of the ten. Yeah. The so Conference. of the ten. According to Bill Simmons, the Kings have the worst three through nine right. in their rotation. So if however, however much you want to believe or yeah. or you know, feel like Bill Simmons is on the right track, yeah. then you're talking about, well, you're missing, you're missing Malik Monk, you're missing yep. Kevin Herter. This is who you got out there. You had a tough end of the season. Mm-hmm. The way I look at it is it could have been an opportunity. It could have been an opportunity for De'Aaron Fox. To, to move up that ladder of being him and being a guy. Mike Brown, you could, could have crawled up the ladder as well as being a coach that can Mike, or, or Eric Spolstra-esque, yes, in that right, and, and do sure. some things like that. And it didn't happen. Yep. It, it didn't happen, yep. but they still have an opportunity to get they into sure the playoffs. Yep. And, that's what, and change some narratives, too, And change some way. narratives on the way and at least pack up the foe from the Bay Area. We see you on the phone lines, JR and Ross. We will get to you when we return. Also, Draymond calling the Kings a basketball version of a game manager. That's how I took it. How will you? Styles and Watkins, Sacktown Sports. They had never been in the playoffs in the same season, let alone play one another in a playoff series. That all changed last year in a first-round seven-game classic. Now, the rivalry continues Tuesday night in the 9 versus 10 play-in game. Winner moves on. Loser goes home. Kings, Warriors, Tuesday night at 7 on your home of the Kings, Sacktown Sports. So here's a fact. 85% of the population will suffer from foot pain in their lifetime. That's almost everyone. So you'd think there'd be plenty of healthy long-term remedies, but there just aren't, right? Hi, I'm Dan from the Good Feet Store. You know, people come in all the time sharing the same frustrating story. Bought this, tried that, been there, done, whatever. All different kinds of things, but all with a similar result. Nothing. A discouraging and endless cycle of disappointment. If this rings a bell, don't despair. There is hope. If you think you've tried everything, you probably haven't tried Good Feet Art Supports from the Good Feet Store. They're designed to relieve, even eliminate, the pain commonly caused by certain foot conditions like plantar fasciitis, bunions, flat feet, and others. Plus, provide better balance and increased comfort. See what we can do for you with a free arch support fitting. Just stop in or schedule an appointment. With over 200 stores, there's likely one in your neck of the woods. Find yours at goodfeet.com. Everybody needs good feet. Live 
Live and local. Live and local. This is Sacktown Sports. From the 916, the fan saying it's Coach Brown's fault. Obviously, haven't been Kings fans for that long. I think he hasn't been perfect, but doesn't deserve the negativity. I would love to hear, yeah, I know the caller just said it, but I'm going to echo it. Like, if you want Brown out of town, like, who's the person out there that you're just, you're you're rubbing your hands yeah. together like Birdman, and you're like, okay, let's get Brown out of here, and Kenny Atkinson, come right. on down. Well, like, in, in basketball, it is interesting, or in the NBA, it's different than football. And you can correct me if I'm wrong. In basketball, or in in football it feels like a name pops up because of a team because it's it's more it's clearer because there are more clear offensive coordinators right. defensive coordinators so a defense takes a leap right they are responsible for yes, the Seattle that, situation yes. McDonald or Robert right. Sala or D'Amico Ryan exactly. hey okay cool you're going to build this you're going to build this around it sure. or Kellen Moore, okay, an offensive guy. He's right. the hot new right. offense. Let's grab that guy. In ben basketball, Johnson, yeah. right. And yes, exactly. In basketball, those positions aren't really as clear. Yeah. So I feel like, like Jordy's the Kings defensive coordinator. Nobody who's seen the Kings play defense the last two years would say, Give me a piece yeah, of that. I, I want that. <laughs> Give me Even that. though they got the 14. That's right. They got the 14 <laughs> on the season. So yeah, I don't I don't necessarily know where you would go, but I do no know. Idea that you know the grass isn't always greener and and if well, the, the finalists besides Mike Brown were Steve Clifford who is now okay. fired again from or let go again from Charlotte and our friend Mark Jackson who is still doing the broadcast yeah i mean 916 full some mike throwing out mark jackson's name i mean <laughs> okay. i don't know i'm the type i'm the type in all sports i'm typically just out on the the normal rotation I, yes, I, I, absolutely. The, the usual yes. suspects. Yes. I know Mark Jackson hasn't had club. a right. hasn't had a job, but his name has been thrown around. I would rather not that we're not having this conversation, but right. when I, whenever I look at coaching, I just always would go yeah. not necessarily younger, but just someone someone new. No, absolutely. Right? If you, these guys that just bounce around the the merry go round of of coaching, I'm just I've never been I've never no, loved right that too much. You. Which, yeah. to be fair, Mike Brown was part of that, but it's worked out so far. 916-339-1140. Let's get to JR. He wants to be part of the conversation. What's up, JR? What you got for hey, us? Hey, Dale Styles and Wet Blanket. How you guys doing? We're great. It was fun yesterday. <laughs> hey, Brown, Brown's not the guy that turned over the ball against Phoenix with less than a minute to go. No, that was the most. So, uh, yeah, that would be that guy, which I know we give him cred, but that game changed our whole standing here. Yeah. That one play and then mm. – yeah, that oh, that hurts still. God, that was uh, good. I'm glad I have a lot of cold beers in my refrigerator to deal with that shit. <laughs> anyway, uh, as far as we gotta go, team, Jr. That yeah. was that was Jr. We'll that drop was that. Jr. In in peak form there. But yeah, so the bottom line is there are other people that you can point to. That's right. That had issues throughout the season and most and most importantly you know i will say that i i sent you a text and i said hey that that's a bonus i feel like we didn't i think turnover was killer i think we were all just so confused as to what happened right that i don't think that sabonis got enough no, you're Black right. for that. You're that, right. that was awful. It was terrible. It didn't make any sense either. Like looking back, I, I, I have, I thankfully have not looked back at that play since it happened, but just remembering it, watching it live, like it was a terrible read. Like De'Aaron was covered completely by, I think it was Bradley Beal. And it just, it, it didn't make any sense for Sabonis to, to make the tray or to make the pass. And mm-hmm. I, I, you know, it, it's really frustrating because he had just, made a similar play. I can't remember what game it was, but he had sealed the game for the Kings doing the same exact thing, playing the same read on that inbounds pass. And, and he just threw it to the other team, man. Mm-hmm. And 
JR's right. Like you could argue that that really uh, is the reason why the Kings are in the situation they are in now. If they would have won that game, it would have put them right there with Phoenix as as the seven seed. And I think if I'm not mistaken, with New Orleans losing, the Kings might have no. Uh, they might have slipped into the what, six seed if, six? if that would have if New Orleans would have lost and. No, because I'm not 100. If, if well, yeah, they would have won. Yeah, they, they would have beat Phoenix. Phoenix. They would have been even with Phoenix mm -hmm. at that seven eight, and then winning on Sunday and the Pelicans losing on Sunday, <laughs> might have, might have. They might have still been in a tie with New Orleans, but mm -hmm. I, I would have to double check it. But it definitely. I mean, regardless, it was a huge, huge turnover because at the very least, the Kings could have been uh, in that eight seed. Yeah. Well, and that's what happens when you have. Sabonis is not a a ball handler. Yes. Okay. Absolutely. He has Malik's the ball. probably got the ball in his hands at that point. Yes, right? he has the ball a lot. One because of injury, and two just because of the type of offense that they run. But when things get tight and and people are looking for steals and and things like that, do you really want the the ball in the hands of a big? And yeah. the answer is no. The answer is no, no yeah. but you had nobody else at exactly. the time. Yeah, it's re it really is symbolic of just where this team is at. I mean, ideally, you're right. Like, Sabonis doesn't have the ball in his hands, but this is where the Kings are at at this point in the season. And, and you know, I said it when De'Aaron was, was missing those shots against OKC. At the end of the day, your season's always going to come down to the best players having the ball in their hand, and, and you just have to hope that your players are good enough to make the right decision in those moments. And, you know, De'Aaron definitely has let this team down with the end of that Suns game, with the end of that OKC game, and definitely Sabonis let this team down with that pass uh, against Phoenix and and that foul as well. Like the foul that he had on Nurkic that put him at the line to hit those free throws was terrible. I have no idea what I think yeah. Mike Brown after the game was complaining about it. And well, he did say, "I gotta see it." And yeah, I hope I'm wrong. Oh, but he we was saw wrong. it. He, he wasn't even, he was not blocking out. He was hugging him. Yeah. He was hugging Yusuf Nurkic on that, on that rebound. So um, they just have to be better in those moments. And, you know, definitely you, you could argue that they shouldn't have to be leaned on as much as they are, but this is, this is where it's at. I mean, Jalen Brunson isn't shying away from moments like this and it's definitely stepped up for his team. You were just kind of hoping that the Kings would have, would have had similar moments for them, but ultimately uh, definitely this 10 game stretch here without Malik has, has just been disappointing. I mean, yeah, everything that you could have done that would have felt positive didn't end up happening. And now you're in a situation where it's about as bleak as it can. And your, your back is, is to the wall mm -hmm. and it's, you got one more chance to, to try and redeem this thing or else I think ultimately you're just going to leave a really bad taste in everybody's mouth. A warrior that you are, could worry about is officially out we'll tell you who that is when we return also draymond green calling the kings some version of a game manager styles and watkins sacktown sports subscribe to sacktown sports on youtube and watch the carmichael dave show with jason ross styles and watkins and the drive guys live monday through friday from six to six plus view archive shows and exclusive content subscribe at youtube.com slash sacktown sports Oh, honey, it's our favorite Leaf Filter Trusted Pro, Matt. Matt, come in, come in. Hi, Mrs. Sparks. You wanted me to stop by? Is everything okay with your Leaf Filter Gutter Protection System? Okay. Of course, silly. We wanted you to stop by for dinner as our way of thanking you. Yes, to thank you for that free gutter inspection, the free estimate, and uh, what was the other thing? That lifetime guarantee. Well, Mr. and Mrs. Sparks, those are just Leaf Filter's policies. Everyone who calls Leaf Filter gets a trusted pro to come out for a free gutter inspection and estimate. And every Leaf Filter installation comes with a lifetime guarantee. So it's not just us? No, sir. We don't want anyone to worry about clogged gutters ever again. You mean everyone gets this level of service? Everyone. They just need to visit leaffilter.com slash build to schedule their free inspection. Okay, okay, but you must be starving. You work so hard. Ready to love your gutter protection as much as we do? Visit leaffilter.com slash build and get up to 30% off today. <laughs> See representative for warranty details. Promotion is 20% off plus a 10% senior or military discount. One discount per household. It's a myth to think you don't play golf well enough to get fitted for golf clubs. The professionals at the Hagen Oaks Player Performance Studio would argue that playing the game with golf clubs properly fitted to your body and swing characteristics is the best way to improve your game and have more fun on the golf course. With a professional staff of fitters, all the major brands of equipment and cutting-edge technology featuring TrackMan, 
the indoor outdoor Hagen Oaks Player Performance Studio is worth a look. See for yourself, Fulton Avenue at the Gap City Freeway. Schedule your fitting at 916 808 2531. 808 2531. Country in the Park is back May 17th and 18th at Cal Expo with Brantley Gilbert, Dustin Lynch. Walker Hayes and more tickets start at just 46 bucks country in the park May 17th and 18th at Cal Expo for more information visit citpfest.com brought to you by Tough Shed new dog treatment sensors and Raising Cane's chicken fingers celebrate Sacramento River Cats baseball during our 25th anniversary season pick your favorite weekly promotion giveaway game or theme night and join the fun at Sutter Health Park. Stick around post-game every Friday and Saturday night as we light up the sky with the brightest fireworks in town. For a full promotion schedule and to buy tickets, visit rivercats.com. We'll see you there. At Ashton or Price, over the last 25 years, we've won just about every injury case you can think of. Slip and fall, falling merchandise, fell through rotted decking, we won those. Dangerous stairs, falls into holes, dog bites, won them. Injured while pedestrian or on a bicycle, auto, motorcycle, big rig, company vehicle, Uber, or Lyft accident, we've won them all. And the best news is there's no fee until you win. So no matter how you got injured, remember, for the best advice, don't think twice. Call Ashton and Price. Golf to Go is brought to you by the Hagen Oaks Golf Super Shop. Here's Frank LaRosa. Golf.com's Alan Bastable offers eight sneaky ways for stubbornly average players to break 80. First, play sensible tees. Hitting seven and eight irons into greens instead of hybrids give chances at fours and threes. Check the par. There's no shame in doing so on a par 70 course. Three, check the forecast. A day after rain can mean soft greens. Four, avoid big numbers. It's not the bogeys that will derail a 79. It's a couple of bigger scores. Five, you got to believe. Give yourself a pep talk and temper the feelings of gloom. Six, keep like-minded company. If you're a grinder, play with fellow grinders or play with music or gamble if that's your game. Seven, a little luck helps. Even tour players recognize luck. Eight, don't obsess over... Well, breaking 80, you're going to know if you have a good round going, so have your partner keep score. At the 18th tee, ask where you stand as it may affect the way you approach the hole. Sounds simple, huh? Now go out and do it and have some fun. That's your Golf to Go. I'm Frank LaBrosa. Sacktown Sports. Check us out on YouTube. Search Sacktown Sports and subscribe. GP2, who I believe left the game during the in-season tournament as well. GP2 will not be playing tomorrow night. And if the Warriors were to win, he wouldn't be playing the next game either. Mm. GP2, man. I mean, you know, Bay guy, obviously we know about his pops. He just has not been able after what he did. And even, even that championship run, Mm -hmm. that wasn't his fault. That was Dylan Brooks whacking him in, in the head. But GP two, I mean, crazy story for GP two was almost out of the league. He was in the G league. Mm -hmm. He was essentially starting to apply to be a video guy within the NBA gets an opportunity with the warriors, finds a very specific niche with the warriors is able to, hang around and do some things becomes a champion but but since then and even i think probably prior to that he's one of those guys that to me and i'll put him in the 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 john carlos stanton category just feel like some guys out there are just almost too athletic for their bodies and their bodies <laughs> don't really know how to handle it and it feels like gp2 because that 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 dude can jump out the gym mm-hmm. and he's wildly athletic. And yeah, GP2 will not be playing yeah. tomorrow night. And he will, I don't know when the, the Warriors would get him again, even if even if they do win, it would not be on that Thursday or Friday. All right, tease it enough. Draymond Green used the term when breaking down the Kings. And it's a term that I haven't heard before. Chris said he hadn't heard before. It makes sense when you hear it. So let's play it now. But I it did feel a little disrespectful to me. Here it is. I think it definitely changed a little bit. Um, you know, we think we know this team pretty well, though, for the most part. Uh, nobody's changing that much unless you just completely change the roster. And the mainstays in their roster are still there. 
Uh, so they're going to run a lot of things through Sabonis. Uh, obviously, the, everything starts with the head of the snake, De'Aaron, um, and everybody else kind of gets theirs off those two guys. Uh, you know, they're very much so a pattern team. Like, they, they got their things that they want to get to. Uh, and so, you know, going into the game and understanding that, uh, what, you know, the things that we'll be trying to take away and not let them get to those patterns. Uh, but... Yeah, I mean, we, we know them well. They know us well, so it won't be no surprises. A pattern team. Yeah. I also don't know if I agree with Draymond. Like, I, I maybe he is just in media mode and he's just saying things just to say it, but I do think that this is a pretty significantly different Kings team than what they've seen. I would say from the Warrior side, it's pretty similar because of everything you laid out. Like, to me, all of the main characters are still the main characters on the Golden State side. Mm-hmm. Of course, De'Aaron and Sabonis are still there, but they play completely different. Again, like the Kings are a lot more of a defensive minded team since the last time they've played them just out of necessity because Malik is out. Um, I don't know if the Warriors or at least Draymond is is properly prepared for the team he's going to get. I mean, ultimately, I think it's it's it should it shouldn't be that big of a difference for Golden State, but um yeah, that's that's just really interesting comments there. And then about the the pattern thing, about them being a pattern team, I still don't 100% know what he's referring to. At first, I kind of thought he was talking about how, you know, again, like in the NFL, they talk about throwing to spots and not necessarily throwing, mm-hmm. to, you know, like Brock Purdy throws yeah. to spots. He's not necessarily read and reacting mm-hmm. and throwing to players. Um, but it kind of sounds like he's more referring to like, you know, Sabonis in the first quarter usually is more of a, a of a dictator, if you will, where he'll end the first quarter and have six, six, and six. Mm-hmm. And then fourth quarter is De'Aaron Fox time. And in the second quarter, they like to run more pick and roll. That was my interpretation of what he was saying. But even then, I, I don't, again, I don't know if the Kings necessarily fall as victim to that as maybe what they would if they were at full strength. I don't know. I think I kind of agree with Draymond when we're watching the offense and it might be different people shooting, but with Kevin Herter out and and I, I think that with Malik Monk, you were able to have more ISO play at the end of games, but leading up to and obviously what Malik can do in the PNR, but I mean, we we've sat here and we've talked about the fact that they get into their sets, the DHO. Yeah, they they run their stuff. I that's how I took what Draymond was saying. They're gonna run just like we talked about. They're gonna run their offense, and sometimes it looks like they're going through the motions. That's what I thought he meant by pattern team. They essentially just run their offense, and they get the the shots out of their offense. That's mm-hmm. just that's pretty much who they are. Yeah, I mean, I I I. Don't really know. Like I said, I've never heard anyone use that that terminology before. But um, you know, either way, it's it's going to be on <clears throat> it's going to be on the Kings to to try and figure out the puzzle because uh, ultimately, I, I think that this is on the Kings to try and give them a different look. Like if Draymond's expecting to see the same old thing again, I would just reiterate: you got to give them something different because if you give them the same thing that you've tried to give them in the past, I don't think you have the horses to get that done. You've got to play a completely different style. It shouldn't even be, uh, you know, what you typically see from a Kings Warriors matchup. I think if you're the Kings and you want to win this, you got to play a lot more like this is Kings or uh, Warriors Knicks or something Mm -hmm. like that. You need to try and muddy this up a bit. You need to try and get Golden State frustrated, not playing their flow offense because we, I I just fundamentally believe that if this is going to be a a battle of, or a matchup of, of who's got the better offense. I just don't think the Kings can win that game I, at all. Really? I was going to say no. nine times out of 10. I just don't think they can win it at all. Probably not. I mean, we haven't seen, we haven't seen, you know, what's so funny about how hot the Kings have been getting and then how cold if th- those, those spurts where the Kings are shooting 60% for a certain amount of time. And then it just drops to 30. If you just shot, like 40% for the whole game, you probably win or 45%. Yeah, sure. So uh, yeah, the idea that the Kings can stay hot. The problem is they get so ridiculously hot. Everybody in the building knows that they're not going to be able to sure. continue to, to perform like that, including the Kings. So now that the Kings know that if, and and look, this would go to Mike Brown as well. And we've seen people hop on the text line and the call line and say, when you have the lead, 
is there anything you can do to kind of milk it a little bit and not just continue to chuck up <laughs> yeah. threes? Get to the paint, man. Something. So game. if you do find yourself rocking and rolling and up 15, up 20 against the Warriors, yeah, I would at that point, I would put it on Mike Brown to at least now we won't know this until the post game, but to say, hey, you've blown a lot of these leads where you've gotten red hot and and continue to shoot the basketball even when you start to cool off. Are there has there been anything put in place to to kind of burn some clock, chew some clock yeah. a little bit and just get kind of when when you, you look, if you say that hot, cool. But when you start when you call that first time out, because from 20, they now cut it to 13. At that point in time, do you say, hey, guys, let's go to X, Y and Z. That's going to be more inside shooting maybe get fouled a little bit. And that's the other part of this that we haven't talked about yet either, Chris. You cannot be afraid to go to the foul line. Yeah. No. You know, and you've been they've been they've been shooting free throws better as of late. Yeah. You got to continue it because you can't be afraid to go. Yeah. No, you got to get to the rim. I think it all connects. Like you got to get to the rim uh because they don't have a rim protector either. That was the thing last year. Kings didn't take advantage of it this year with Trace Jackson Davis. I I think he's about equal to a rim protector as Kavon Looney is. Mm-hmm. Davion Mitchell, he's been really good at hitting his perimeter shots, but also he's been great at attacking the rim. Um, he's got he's got to be the real enforcer to me. If if anybody's going to attack the rim from the people that we aren't expecting, I think Davion's the most likely. Keegan, we've seen Keegan be aggressive at different times, and him getting to the rim. You want to talk about getting to the foul line? I'm looking at HB instantly. You know, it, it's we don't know what to expect out of Harrison Barnes in this game. We got a ball out last, yeah, the last season time. high in, in season high in Golden in, State. Yeah. Actually. At Chase Center. Yes. It, at, it, at Chase Center. Uh, we got a great performance out of Harrison Barnes. I don't know if we're going to get another 30 burger out of HB, but can he get to the line six times, eight mm-hmm. times? Can he get to the line 10 times? That would be huge for them. Just slowing the game down, keeping the rhythm, maybe slowing down some runs on the Golden State side. And again, I'm looking at it here. The Kings have only scored over 110 points three times over their last 14 games. And that some of those are even with Malik Monk. So again, I would just reiterate, don't try and get into a shootout with this Golden State team. Lean into the team that you've become, and that's being a defensive-minded team and try and keep them under 115. And that's how I think you have a chance, but you cannot abandon it. And the biggest thing about playing Golden State, and it was a huge thing last year, you cannot get down on yourself in these games because that's really where the Warriors take their advantages emotionally. Steph starts hitting some threes. And what, what do they always uh, Everybody wants to act, act gangster until yeah. Draymond hits a couple threes. That's how it is, man. Like if Draymond hits two threes, mm-hmm. he's going to start getting loud. He's going to yell at the crowd. He's probably going to do something with his fingers, hopefully multiple, not one. Um, you know, he he's, he's going to start feeling himself. You can't get down. You can't slump your shoulders and say, oh, this is where the run begins because that's really, again, where Golden State wins these games in the past is emotionally they get you down. They start hitting threes. You start playing the, oh, they're hitting threes. That means we have to hit threes. And, again, you just cannot keep up with these guys. So you've got to run your own race and just hope that last five minutes you got a chance. Um, And that's really all you can ask for. I mean, control what you can control and and – you know, just try and slow down Warriors the best you can. Coming up next, how worried are you about the officiating <laughs> in tomorrow's game? Styles and Watkins, Sackdown Sports. Last season, it was the playoffs. This time around, the season is on the line for the Kings and Warriors in the play-in game. And let me tell you, if you can't sense it, if you can't feel it through the radio, this place is absolutely nuts. Tuesday night at 7. The Kings and Warriors meet to see which team keeps their playoff hopes alive. Get all the must-hear action right here on Sacktown Sports and your proud home of the Sacramento Kings. Capital Casino has been serving the greater Sacramento area in the same convenient downtown location for over 20 years with plenty of close-by, well-lit parking monitored by security staff and offering the most variety of table games in the region, in a safe and friendly environment. Best food, best service, and the best action, that's Capital Casino. For more information on tournaments and gaming, check out their website at capital-casino.com. And please remember to gamble responsibly, 1-800-GAMBLER. Grab the keys to a new fuel-efficient Toyota. Take on this new season in California with incredible MPG and peace of mind. 
Toyota has more hybrids and plug-in hybrids than any other brand. So hit the road with fewer fill-ups and legendary dependability. Just announced, get 0% APR plus 2,500 bonus cash or get the lowest lease payments of the year on the all-electric BZ4X. Toyota, let's go places. Offer available through TFS to buyers with premium rated credit at 43024. When I want to stretch out after a long day, my sofa needs to be comfortable, but it also needs to look attractive and inviting when guests come to visit. I am Frank LaRosa with a word about Naturewood Home Furnishings. We spend so much time on our living room sofas that we forget they're a focal point and a hint to our decorating tastes. Right now, during Naturewood Home Furnishings sofa sale, you can save on every sofa, including gallery-exclusive custom-ordered flex steel furniture. Whether you're interested in a new sofa, sectional, or recliner, you can choose from hundreds of colors and fabrics. Nobody has more styles and choices than Naturewood Home Furnishings. And when it comes right down to it, it's all about choices and always about quality. Shop Naturewood for the look you love at a price you'll love even more. Visit Naturewood Home Furnishings right now for this remarkable sofa sale. Off Highway 50 at Hazel, look for the water room. Contact Tax Relief Helpers for details and restrictions. Attention anyone that owes money to the IRS. The IRS has restarted aggressive enforcement actions against taxpayers who owe back taxes that were temporarily suspended for COVID. If you owe $10,000 or more, you must hear this because now is the time to clear your IRS tax debt. A special toll-free number has been established so you can stop penalty fees, avoid liens, levies, and other hostile measures by the IRS. Call Tax Relief Helpers right now at 800-934-9217. Tax Relief Helpers will provide you with the maximum protection afforded by law. I got behind on my taxes and owed $48,000. I didn't know what to do. I called called and they got my bill lowered to just $3,500. I owed $87,000 in taxes and it was scary. I got the amount I owed down to just $3,500. I saved $83,500. If you owe money to the IRS, don't wait another day. Call 800-934-9217 right now before the IRS enforces liens, levies, and other aggressive measures. The call and consult are absolutely free. Call now. Call 800-934-9217. 800-934-9217. 800-934-9217. Right now, while you're sitting on the couch or just driving around, your friends are at the Hagen Oaks Driving Range, powered by Top Tracer. The vibe is perfect, whether you're an accomplished player or a newbie. Play a variety of fun games, play Pebble Beach, or compete against friends at the Hagen Oaks Driving Range. Hungry? The Hangout Food Truck offers burgers, chicken strips, and more. Check the summer-long free concert schedule. Be a part of the fun at the Hagen Oaks Driving Range, Fulton Avenue, Cap City Freeway, open until midnight. Hey, what's up? It's Kyle Draper here for Mercedes-Benz of Stockton. If you go to their website, mbofstockton.com, then click the tab that says specials, prepare to be impressed. That's right. Mercedes-Benz of Stockton has some crazy spring deals on new and pre-owned vehicles. Check it out. You can lease a pre-owned 2023 Mercedes GLA 250 or a 2023 EQB 300 all-wheel drive SUV for just $4.99 a month or even a pre-owned 2023 C-Class Mercedes for $599 a month. And right now, you can take advantage of as much as $22,000 in Mercedes-Benz incentives on premium electric cars like my EQS. Mercedes will even throw in a complimentary home EV charger and hook you up with two years of prepaid maintenance. I promise you guys, it'll be the best car shopping experience you've ever had. It's just a half hour from SAC. A short drive off I-5 or online at mbfstockton.com. Sponsored by Xfinity. Enjoy the entertainment you love with the Xfinity Stream app. Turn any screen into a TV and take the entertainment you love wherever you go. Xfinity, we connect you to more of what you love. I think maybe some of this was taken out of context. Nine out of 10 Kings lose to the Warriors. You guys are somewhat clueless today. They took them to game seven last year and two and two this year. How can you make such an absurd comment? The line is only one and a half. Chris, do you want to clarify what Uh, you said? Yeah, Uh, I just said at the end there, if the Kings want to get into a shootout with the Warriors, they will lose nine out of 10. And then I actually corrected myself and said, 10 out of 10 times. Yes, a shootout. Yes, a shootout. As in, if the Kings want to abandon defense and want to play a one first one to 125 game, I'm just saying the Kings, again, 
haven't even scored. They've only scored over 110 points three times in their last 14 games. So that's what I'm saying is if the Kings want to turn this back into a, uh, oh, offensive identity, let's just shoot threes. And yeah, we won't really be concerned about the defensive end. That can't be how they play like they tried to play last year in the playoffs. No, you have to play more of the style that uh, that you've played here recently. And, you know, yeah, you haven't gotten results, but I think you listed out the uh, the ratings, offensive rating ninth, defensive rating fifth in their last 10 games. I think that is. Uh, you have to lean more into being a defensive team and try and hold the Warriors under 115 is what I was saying. If you want to if you want to score the 120s plus, that's just lending itself to a Warriors win. And they're two and two this year. But, Chris, I'm trying to think of the order of it. I'm trying to think of the guy's name that they had mm. when they went two and two. He plays for the Kings mm. injured right now. He's got the hum diddly thing, right? He might. He'll probably win six man of the year. What's his mm, name? Mm. Malik Monk. Right, right. They had oh, Malik right. Monk. I forgot about that. So it's a completely different it's setup. A whole different game. Completely. <laughs> this is about yeah. not getting into a shootout with them. Yeah. Not literally whether or not they have a chance. Yes, yes. They have a better chance by not getting it into a shootout. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And even in general, I mean, I guess this is kind of leaning into a confidence meter, but like Kings win – Three out of ten times, four out of ten times. What? If with, with this current group of guys, like if they were to just if they were to play a ten game series, with this like current group, yeah, how would you feel? Obviously, what against, ends up happening yeah, happens. Yeah, but yeah. I mean, I would feel three is is about as as much as I'm comfortable saying. Right. Well, really, it's just there's no counter. Mm -hmm. You know, you're That's just going to shoot yeah. threes yep. and hope that they hope fall. They, and you got to hope Golden State misses. Some right. Too. You're hoping they can't be on. you're hoping that Clay Thompson turns back into Clank Thompson. Yep. You're hoping and, and it's just probably not going to happen that many times. Yeah. And then internally, you know, they have they have Draymond. They got this new kid, Trace Jackson Davis. So it, it just would be tough, yeah. you know, and. It's not even a it's not even a negative on the Kings. It's really just as much as how important Malik how yes. important two main rotation pieces are. Yes. The especially Warriors especially in these games. Especially yeah. in big games. The biggest games of the season is when you lean on your best players the most. Exactly. And you read off the numbers from the season from the series mm -hmm. last last year with yeah. Malik Monk. He balled out and I'm willing to bet he balled out in a couple of the games Guaranteed. this year as well, Including because game winner. Malik is a, and I, this is, and this is not just a warrior thing. No, if the warriors win, or excuse me, if the Kings win and then the, the Kings have to play the Lakers, I'll be just Same as worried conversation. because Same Malik is a big game player yep. Yep. and he, he's been showing up in those games. We'll say the Kings have beaten the Lakers four times this year, but all four have been with Malik Monk. Yes. And this time they might not have it. So, and that's just that just yep. is what it is. Yep. They, you got to roll the ball out. Yep, it's not played on paper, yep. but we're not saying it's over. It's right. just not likely. Nine nine one six real three three nine eleven forty. Let's get to Matthew, who wants to be part of the conversation. What's up, Matthew? What you got for us? Hey, I just wanted to get on the coaching. Uh, how everyone was trying to get on the coaching about him. I Please. think the coaching about Mike Brown. I think mm -hmm. they were getting on because we don't have monks, so these lineups we have are just kind of weird, and they're changing up. And if we need, we definitely need Monk, and we definitely are scared of the Lakers because we've had them every win we've had against them. And how are we going to go five and zero against them? We're already four and zero. Chances are, we need we need Monk. Yeah. And to get back to the Mike Brown thing, they need to stop getting on him just because it's felt like he has he's dealing with Monk not being there, and other people are showing up, but our lineup is just constantly changing. Yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah, thanks for the call, Matthew. Yeah, it is interesting down the stretch here. I mean, I think we do need to clear some time to to give people a, a little bit of time to not be so emotional about it. But I am curious when we get removed from this, how much is going to what's what's the revisionist history going to be? Is it going to be, um, you know, hey, yeah, give Mike Brown some 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 slack like they didn't have Malik. give the team, not just Mike Brown, give the team some slack. They didn't have Malik or. Um, like you said, I mean, I, I think it falls somewhere in the middle of they tricked off games when Malik and Kevin were both healthy. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, I, I definitely think, uh, you know, if anyone wants to be critical of these last 10 games, I definitely think that's not fair. But uh, if you want to 
you know, bring it out to the entire season. I think there's there's more credence to that kind of conversation. But when it comes to Mike Brown, yeah, I feel like I've let my feelings be known. Yeah, and, and I don't think Mike Brown is a perfect coach. No. You know, I think that you would you have to do the thing if you're going to have that conversation. You have to do the thing where you say, okay, and if Eric Spolster is the the, the top model, of the yeah. top, right? How many games would they have won with Eric Spolster? Sure. Yeah, they probably are not in the play, and I'd, I'd right. I'd be willing to well, say I don't that know. Miami's in the play. In. That's true. You know who's got a better yeah. roster between Miami and Jimmy Butler? Always talking. He's still yeah. talking. Did you see what he recently said? He said, I "Yeah, did this not. is around I can't the time. Keep up. Same thing. Nobody wants to play us right now. You know how we get down." Okay, Jimmy. <laughs> Jimmy, eight seed, buddy. Like, and you haven't actually won year. anything. That's a good point. It's a good point. He's been close. Not even really close. He's made it there. He's made it there in the bubble. Yeah. He made it there after the bubble and he has not won. No, nope. no. Nope. I feel like Jimmy is actively trying to, and I really don't, uh, I'm not really hating on it, but I feel like Jimmy is actively trying to fight ring culture by just crowning himself, <laughs> yes. even though they haven't yeah. won anything. He's he's a, uh, he's a uh, uh, killmonger. Yes. Almost. He's like, this is your king. That's yeah. what he's here for. He's yes. literally here to say, Jason Tatum, right. this is your king. Right. This is the guy that you, mm-hmm. what about me? What yeah. about me? And it's like, well, you, you really you probably shouldn't be our king either. But it's like, yeah, but definitely not this guy. Right, right. Neither of us are, or yeah. we both are. <laughs> yeah, That's how exactly. it works. And, you know, I, I would I would be talking a lot of trash if I were Jimmy Butler. Sure. But you also <laughs> haven't actually. Right done yeah i'm sure anything. lebron's just laughing he's like oh, okay jimmy like you know yeah. yeah jimmy's got his lane that he knows to fill and that's let me make the big teams afraid of me where was jimmy on that tier list mm, do you remember good question because he should i mean yeah he was the inverse of sabonis they were yeah. like playoff performance might hurt some people like demonis sabonis mm-hmm. but it might help some people like jimmy butler i'll check real quick if i had to guess do we think he's higher than De'Aaron? Probably. In that hierarchy, I, I mean, think, he's been to a finals. Right. It would make two. sense. Um, if I had to guess, I would say he's probably like in that. I think De'Aaron was 2C. I would put Jimmy just like a, a tier above it. But I think ultimately like De'Aaron could have a very similar arc to a Jimmy Butler where he's always that guy where regular season. Eh, yeah, he's like he's definitely top 10. Mm-hmm. Is he top five in, in for his position? Possibly, but mm-hmm. in the playoffs, that's where he really shows where how good of a player he is. I could see that being kind of where De'Aaron goes because, as we know, regular season, you know, he lets games slide off his back, all that stuff. Postseason, he clearly locks into a different level. Yeah, and really, this is an opportunity, I think. There's a bigger opportunity for the Kings and the Warriors. The Warriors are expected to win, yep. and I understand. I think that, yeah, the line is only two, but the Warriors are expected to win. And they're expected to at least make a run at it. That is the expectation. We read from Monty Poole, it would be seen as a failure if the Warriors didn't get out of this. I I think it would be seen as a failure if the Kings didn't get out of it, but just at a different level. Again, at least the Kings could say, we don't have Kevin Herter. We don't have Malik Monk. The Warriors, they have Steph Curry. They have Clay, They have Draymond. They have their big three. We don't know if Kaminga is going to, even if Kaminga doesn't play tomorrow, and we already know GP2 is not playing. I still think that right. you get out. If they got out of it, then you would eventually get Kaminga back. I don't think they care. I don't think Warriors fans or Warriors media cares whether or not you have Kaminga tomorrow night. Okay, this is where Steph, he he lit the beam. Okay, he dropped 50. So, and I feel like the Warriors have more to lose than they have to gain. Yeah. But the Kings do have a lot to gain, and they should do their best. And I know that they will take advantage. Can I get one quick little tease here for Mm -hmm. the uh, top of the hour coming up? Sam Amick, our friend at The Athletic, uh, released an interesting article this morning, coaching tiers. As I was looking for the player tiers to find where Jimmy Butler is, NBA postseason coaching tiers from Doc Rivers to Darvin Ham. What's at stake in the coming weeks and has three different tiers. There you go. It'll and we interesting to see where Mike Brown falls. We want them to start coming in now. Call line, text line, sack chat. One word mm. to describe the Kings regular season. One word. Styles and Watkins, Sacktown Sports. A year ago, Steph Curry and the Golden State Warriors ended the Sacramento Kings season. 
Tuesday, the Sacramento Kings have a chance at revenge in the play-in game. Join Sackdown Sports for complete coverage on air and online with guests, previews, and predictions for the win or go home Northern California battle. Kings and Warriors, Tuesday at 7, on your home of the Kings, Sacktown Sports at SacktownSports.com. I didn't ask to be thrown in the streets with nowhere to go. I didn't think I'd survive. But I did ask for help, and Covenant House was there for me. One in 10 young adults will experience a form of homelessness this year. For these kids who didn't ask to be put in this unthinkable situation, Covenant House is there. Covenant House helped me break the cycle of homelessness in my family. They gave me the love that I needed. Over 2,000 young people will sleep safely in a Covenant House bed tonight. When youth who are experiencing homelessness have a hot meal, a safe place to sleep, medical care, and love, they can overcome heartbreaking challenges and have a brighter future. They just really genuinely just wanted to help me succeed and I'm succeeding. I'm a, I'm a speaker, I'm an author. Covenant House really helped me and really helped mold me into the woman I am today. If you or someone you love is asking for help, go to safeplacetosleep.org today. Seems like all this artificial intelligence stuff stirs up the age-old debate of man versus machine. Hi, it's Dan from the Good Feet Store, and let me ask you, would you let a robot cut your hair? Would you rely on an app to teach a kid to ride a two-wheeler? Let's face it, some things require the human touch. People come to us seeking a solution to foot, leg, and back pain after trying all kinds of things recommended by in-store machines or website blurbs. An impersonal, generic approach to solving a problem that's unique to you. No wonder they usually don't work. At the Good Feet Store, you'll meet with an art support specialist who will take the time to learn about your needs, your feet, your lifestyle, and then fit you from over 300 models and sizes of art supports designed for pain relief, better balance, and more comfort. See what we can do for you with a free fitting. Just stop in or schedule an appointment. With over 200 stores, there's likely one near you. Find yours at goodfeet.com. Everybody needs good feet. The IRS finally caught up with Louie. I hadn't paid my taxes in eight years. I owed the IRS a lot of money. Louie was in deep trouble. We're going to take your house, put a lien on your bank account, uh, garnish your pay. They don't care. They're going to take your paycheck. Louie found out about Optima Tax Relief, the leading tax resolution firm. A-plus rated by the Better Business Bureau, they've resolved over $1 billion for their clients. Optima Tax, they helped me. They calmed me down. They made me feel comfortable, and I trust them. Louie has a lot to be thankful for. I don't owe the IRS anymore and I was able to live a comfortable life, a lot better life. It was because of Optima Tax. For tax help you can trust, call Optima now for a free consultation. Take it from Louie. If you owe the IRS, don't go it alone. Give Optima Tax a call. They can help you. Call 800-343-6460. 800-343-6460. 800-343-6460. Optima Tax Relief. Testimonial from an actual client. Some restrictions apply. For complete details, please visit OptimaTaxRelief.com. Hey, it's Carmichael Dave for American Energy Heating and Air with a question. Have you recently had a technician diagnose your HVAC system? You were a bit surprised at how much it cost, or did something seem off about their quote? Because at American Energy, they take pride in giving you honest, straightforward solutions to get that system up and running. Have their qualified technicians come out and give you a free second opinion. It's free. You got nothing to lose but some dollars off of that original quote. They're making the uncomfortable comfortable. They've been doing it since 1981, serving the greater Sacramento area, A-plus with the Better Business Bureau. That's why they keep having customers coming back for more and more and more. You can call them and set that appointment at 916-520-9990. That's 916-520-9990 or AmericanEnergyAir.com. ZZ Top, the Elevation Tour. Friday, May 3rd, 7.30 p.m., the venue at Thunder Valley, with special guest, Foghat, ZZ Top, playing all their classic hits, the venue at Thunder Valley. For tickets, visit ThunderValleyResort.com. Welcome to a brighter future with Aztec Solar, serving Sacramento since 1980. Everyone knows that solar saves money. 
How much? The answer is a few clicks away. Visit yourpowersavings.com. It's fast, easy, and reliable, giving you instant insight into your potential savings. I used to pay $400 a month to the power company, and that $400 a month added up to $48,000 over the past 10 years. That all changed when I switched to solar with Aztec Solar. Now it's your turn to stop overpaying for electricity. Calculate your solar savings right now at yourpowersavings.com. And Aztec Solar will email or text you how much you'll save every month. Plus, we've got an exclusive offer for you. Get your solar electrical system for just $9,995 cash price after incentives. Don't wait. This deal won't last forever. Visit yourpowersavings.com today and take the first step towards energy independence with Aztec Solar. From the power business technology Toshiba Studios. Your home for Kings basketball for over 25 seasons. No look, Bibby to Weber down the lane, flying jam. There's your play of the night right there. It's inside is Sabonis, a true hand rip. A brilliant pass from Pierre and Fox. KHTKAM Sacramento, KYMX HD2 Sacramento. Town Sports. <laughs> Live and local. Live and local. This is Sacktown Sports. Asking the question, one word to describe King's regular season. In the 5-3-0, tumultuous on the Sack Chat. Manny too legit, discombobulated. Brandon Deitzman says confounding. Ward says choked. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know we had a bunch of English scholars in our yeah, I mean, back chat. Outstanding, yes. outstanding vocab here. Yeah, the vocab is mm-hmm. confounding. Ridiculous huh? yes. right now. IQ is that's what that's what we do. We know ball. Of, you see Dave. Dave is graduate. <laughs> that's soon, right. Huh? That's right. Yeah. <laughs> and Beamer Beams or Beamly, that's fair. They say. It's TBD right now. Yeah, I've got to wait. I mean, to me, yeah, we will have. We can just say regular season. That, well, yeah, I've been saying that. regular yeah. season specifically. Yeah. Because that's what led I, yeah, to I think the ninth. Everyone always, like with a movie, everyone always remembers what happens at the end. Like coming out of mo- a movie, if, if it's a happy ending, people are going to be happy or whatever, even if the whole movie was depressing. Mm-hmm. Uh, so coming off this month, I think a lot of people are just going to be upset right now yeah and i think that's rough it was a rough month from a b 916 the season in one word confused one game we blow out a team the next we get blown out yeah uh, my word would just be inconsistent i Mm -hmm. I think that just really is i mean it might be too simple of a word but just every game to game quarter to quarter half Mm -hmm. to half it just felt like anything and anything was every and anything was possible with this team they might score 120 one night that did not mean literally 24 hours later they would have that same offensive firepower which you know sometimes can be typical but i just don't think we knew any night who was going to be the third option we knew to an extent i mean you know sabonis of course was incredibly consistent with the double doubles De'Aaron even to an extent had a bit of inconsistency the the first stretch of the season where he was averaging 30 and shooting 40 percent from three and then the rest of the season is somewhere near 24 points per game and then near 33 percent 34 percent from three uh Keegan Murray like you know his his offense was inconsistent even his defense like it, it felt like we have we talked has anybody talked about Keegan Murray's defense since Keon Ellis stepped no. on the scene no. I don't think so. And, and you know, I, I'm not saying Keegan has just stopped playing defense, but if it was really so good, it would just be additive to what's going on. And it feels like it's just taken a complete back seat. So I think everybody, with the exception of really Demonis Sabonis, inconsistent to me feels like uh, the word I would use to, to describe everything that's gone on. And um, that's definitely not a characteristic of a winning team. I think a big thing, too, is you can't even say this team would play to their competition. That's kind of a cliche you hear a lot in sports. And it's even said about the Kings this year. But they would, like you said, one night come out super hot and let's just say like beat a team like OKC, maybe beat them handily and then blow it against the Bulls or something like blow it. Yeah, totally. And I know the first what two thirds of the season, all we were talking about, you guys were talking about was they can't handle a second night of the back to back. They broke that curse, right. and it, it it's just 
I think, yeah, I think inconsistent is the only way or synonyms for that word are the only way to describe <laughs> this team. My word. Frustrating. Yeah. A little different. My word would be puberty. Oh, okay. Because, you know. Family show. When you're going through puberty, there are growing pains. Okay. And sometimes, you know, you get a little bit of acne, right? They're not the best pictures mm-hmm. that are taken sometimes. But you get through. <laughs> you get through puberty. And you look better. You become right. a man. You become a an adult. Oh, excuse me, yes. And that is what I think we're hopefully seeing with sure. the Kings. I hope hopefully yeah. this is their tweener yeah. year. Definitely some voice cracks. They got this voice year. cracks. A lot of voice cracks. Braces. Yeah. Pimples. So this is like middle school. Last year was elementary school. They're wrapping up sixth grade. Right. They're in middle school now. The hardest part for me, middle school was rough. And then you get into high school and Oh yeah, <laughs> that's your, the, your braces, life. the braces come off. Uh huh. Yeah, mm-hmm. a little taller. Yeah, I guess. Uh-huh. I guess yeah, gotta I, bring up height. Mm-hmm. <laughs> gotta do it. That's what I'm thinking. I think so. I mean, that kind of fits in with your early call of a cocoon season, right? That was mm-hmm. more for Keegan specifically, but that's right. You know, a bit of uh, uh you know, yeah, maturing. A a well, I guess maturing would hopefully be next year, but this year is the going through it. I, I think all these are, are totally fine. It's it's a uh, none of these are all of them have a negative connotation, I think, <laughs> which is also very telling with how the season has gone. Um, yeah, I, I think I think pu- puberty is is fine. I think uh, <laughs> I think don't cut that. Don't cut that. <laughs> <laughs> I think. Uh, yeah, I, th- I think that's a good one from the 209 exasperated. Yeah, from the 916 regressed. From the 209 ga- right? gaslit. Yes. <laughs> I, yeah. Gaslit into what? Like believing they're good or believing they're bad? Yeah. 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 I would Just say yes. last year would have been gas. Like, well, I well, guess this yeah. year is the no, feeling of being year. gaslit. Yeah. From the 916 <laughs> Styles and Watkins. Kings are going to spank that warrior behind. Keep the faith. Light the beam from Patrick. There we go. Patrick. There we go, Patrick. Thank you for steering it back. Mm-hmm. Puberty. Yeah. Puberty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I I think um, I'm trying to think if there is like a a positive word that, because again, like even inconsistent definitely leads to some good, but also a lot of bad puberty. I don't think anybody's going to go around saying, you know, it was actually the best time of my life. (laughs) (laughs) It was actually great. 11 to 13. Yeah. Yeah, 11 to 13 was sick. I had everything figured out Mm -hmm. at that point in my life, and it's just been downhill from then. I peaked during puberty. Oh, man. (laughs) I I peaked as a 12 year old. It's been all downhill from here. Also, don't cut that. I was the fastest Um, (laughs) runner in my class. That's right. Exactly. That's right. Um, Like, yeah, growing, maybe, you know, like. But even that, again, if that feels too positive, roller coaster. I think yeah. that goes with the nine one six roller sure. coaster. Yeah, I, 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 I'm trying to keep it positive. I just, I really don't know how you could, you, you have. To, I think the bigger point is too, you have to acknowledge the bad. There is no like. I mean, even forget the the ten game losing. Like it almost feels like, of course, yeah, the ten game losing streak. Like Nate said, the thing that you are most recently going through is going to be the thing that sticks out. But if we just want to do the first. 70 games or the first 72 games. I, I still think inconsistence, the word I think um, growing, trying to find yourself searching, maybe searching. Is it because Mike Brown was searching all year on the bench of, of who's going to be that guy trying to figure out who's going to be that reliable third option. It was supposed to be Keegan ended up kind of being Malik. Um, yeah. I, I mean, it's, it's uh None of none of them. I don't really like any of these positive well, words just yeah. because I think it it's not doing the it's it's painting it too too positively. And I think everybody, even Mike Brown, wouldn't admit when Whitey asked him on Sunday, like, is the plan an accomplishment? He's like, anytime you play after game eighty two, it's an accomplishment. But obviously, this is not the situation you want to be in. So it no. feels disingenuous to do anything besides have something that acknowledges this has not gone the way it was supposed to go. Yeah, and a, a lot of the words that have been coming in, you just can't say growth because it's you're not going to convince anybody. And I right. know the difference between last season and this season with the other teams being better and the West being a mess, but you're just not going to get away with calling it growth. Yeah, as much as Mike Brown keeps trying to tell us. Right. Experience, experience, exactly. valuable experience. Well, because that's the thing, right? De'Aaron is not 
shooting the three ball the same way he was at the beginning of the season. So I don't know if we're counting that. What part, where was the growth? Because I got Keegan defensively and a little bit offensively right. outside of three-point shooting. Yeah. And I got Keon. Yeah. I would. And I guess it's a bonus. I guess the growth is just through going through it, but you just have it. Growth still wouldn't be the right word because you haven't done the growing yet. Mm -hmm. You're going through the process of, of building, but you're not, you can't really say that you can tangibly see the results of the growth. You can't, you know, like you, you feel growing pains. Maybe, mm -hmm. maybe that's it growing pains, but you haven't seen the five, six to six foot growth yet, but you right. feel it coming and you're definitely getting the bad sides of it, but you just don't get to, to see it on paper quite yet. Maybe that works growing pains, but mm. um, you know, that all of that ties into there better be a rainbow on the other side. If you're going to say you're growing, you have to be growing into something. Mm -hmm. And I just think it's tough to say that when a lot of people I think have concern that who are, are we growing? Are mm -hmm. we going in, in a positive direction still? Because a lot of people feel like, this is a big step back. And if Malik leaves, how can you say that this season led us into something better? Then you can't count year? Malik. Yeah. That's why I'm not counting Malik, by the way, when we talk about the growth, because I don't, I'm not going to count. I don't know if he's going to be on yeah. the team next season. Right. Exactly. We're talking about going in to next season. 831 says found, I would say foundational. This season showed what needs to be done to improve this roster. I, I don't hate it. Um, I would probably say last year was more foundational and you could have built upon it this year and chose not to. I I've, I have used that word though. Also. Um, yeah. I just think that it's more building on the foundation and maybe foundation testing. Mm -hmm. How about that? Because I do think this year was more about, okay, last year you built something. Is it shaky? Is it sustainable? Is it something we can build on? Should we, Hey, the left side looks a little weak. Maybe we should redo that. Like, and so, yeah, maybe foundation testing, um, you know, yeah, because I, I do think this year they had an opportunity to improve both off the floor with the additions, but also, I mean, just tangibly the amount of games that they lost that they felt like we had, we had the opponent wrapped up and then they just kind of let go. Th that's where it's like, uh, I, I don't know if, if the, I don't know if the foundation was continued. I don't know. I mean, yeah, I, I think that it foundation's close though. Foundation is close from Gilbert Hernandez. Underwhelming is the That's word, one, yeah. which I think you could probably, sure. You could probably roll with that one as well. When we return making fun of the Lakers and their delusion, how confident are you in the Kings and Steven? We see you. We will get to you in a quick minute. Styles and Watkins, Sacktown sports. Last season, it was the playoffs. This time around, the season is on the line for the Kings and Warriors in the play-in game. And let me tell you, if you can't sense it, if you can't feel it through the radio, this place is absolutely nuts. Tuesday night at 7, the Kings and Warriors meet to see which team keeps their playoff hopes alive. Get all the must-hear action right here on Sacktown Sports and your proud home of the Sacramento Kings. The PGA Club Fitters at the Hagen Oaks Player Performance Studio know that golf should be fun. They also know that players of all abilities will hit the ball farther and straighter, play better golf, shoot lower scores, and have more fun if they get fitted before they purchase golf clubs. Hagen Oaks delivers the same technology and major brands used to fit PGA and LPGA professionals. See how the game can be even more fun. Hagen Oaks Player Performance Studio fittings are available seven days a week. Make yours today by calling 916-808-2531. That's 808-2531. This segment is brought to you by Aztec Solar. Skip the sales pitch. Calculate your solar savings at yourpowersavings.com. Search Sacktown Sports and subscribe. Nine one six. Any realistic chance we make the eight seed? Yes. Nine one six. Yes. Of course. There Very is a realistic. Realistic chance. chance. You beat the the Warriors, and then I mean, look. If you play roulette, 
Black going to hit six times in a row for the Pelicans? <laughs> I mean, you got to beat them once. At least once. At like, least once. Come on, you got to sign a life. Black going to hit six times yeah. or Red going to hit six yeah. times in a row. You've beaten the Lakers a good handful of times. like Right, the Lakers, well, you, you, it's the, well, actually, it's the opposite of the Lakers. Sure. But that's only four. Yes, exactly. Right. Well, we just saw hit, five. When we <laughs> just saw five. When happen. there's only three black spaces on the roulette table you're using, it's a little bit harder. <laughs> I'm saying. I'm telling you. There is obviously a chance. a chance. There's definitely a chance. What do you think? Well, yeah, because that's the thing. This isn't even the toughest test for the Kings. I think that I know there's demons to be exercised, but obviously going back to New Orleans, the house of horror, that would be the toughest test. Yeah, I would say so, especially for this team specifically this year. Like, you know, maybe organizationally or mentally, yeah, like Golden State's a really, really big test. But in terms of what you have dealt with this season, New Orleans has been the boogeyman that's there at every single turn. They kicked you out of the in-season tournament. They've kicked your behind every single time before that. They just kicked your behind with an opportunity for you to maybe salvage uh, the last playoff spot kicked you then uh they've kicked you all season and and now would be a great time for for when it really does matter ultimately you can throw out all five of those matchups because this is the only one of those that actually matters if you can get it done in that one that's that's really the the ultimate mental hurdle to get over and if you get over that why can't you convince yourself i mean all season long granted with malik monk we were talking about how okc and minnesota are the two matchups that you're going to want to line up with if you're the kings that's still very, very true. I still think that the Kings have a chance to – now, of course, if Malik doesn't play, those chances are hurt severely, but you still have a chance to to play upset, uh, and you're feeling real good about yourself if you can make it through that gauntlet. By the way, practice is – the media availability is happening right now, so a bunch of clips are coming out. Mike Brown says there is no chance that Malik Monk plays tomorrow. Yes. None. Yeah. That's, Zero. Uh, Chris Biederman and Sean Cunningham, I see both saying, uh, yeah, Mike Brown said, quote, zero chance Malik Monk plays tomorrow. So, so quit on, asking. Yeah. On YouTube right now, the full interview is up, too, if you want to take a look. Is it really? Beautiful. Yeah. Look yeah. at our guys. I there think you go. Frankie and Brendan out there. Here you go, Chris. Here's the Bay Area spin. No 10 seed in the history of the plan has ever made it to the playoffs. That means no team has come from where the Warriors are right now. Huh. and even gotten into the playoffs. Wow. And for what it's worth, the Warriors, I know we say, you know, the Warriors, oh, how scary. You get them in a one-game playoff. No one wants to see them. They're 0-2 in the play-in. Granted, it was in the same season. It was in the, uh, I think it was 2020 there was season. No clay. There, there was no clay. There was no clay in yeah. that in that season for them. Uh, but they were the nine seed, I believe, not eight or nine seed and uh, they lost to the Lakers, and then I believe they lost to the Grizzlies was the second game that they lost. So the Warriors, even though they've been in the play-in before, they do have that experience at the very least. They didn't make it out of it. So, you know, it, it might seem insurmountable, but they've they've met opponents before that in a one-game, gotta-have-it situation, beat them, and they lost twice in that situation. So it's not, it's not impossible. It doesn't seem likely, but it's not impossible. 916-339-1140. All guests and callers join us from the Folsom Lake Honda hotline. Folsom Lake Honda, your one-stop Honda shop. Let's get to our guy, Steven. Wants to be a part of the conversation. What's up, Steven? What you got for us? Good afternoon, boys. How you guys doing, man? Hope you guys had a good weekend. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, man. This game, man, I am juiced. I am excited for this game. I've been super critical on Mike as far as Mike Brown, uh, as far as like rotations and stuff like that, but um, like you guys were saying, man, this is, this is it. You know what I'm saying? This is, uh, this is it folks. One and done, man. So, um, with that being said, man, it's been a really fun season with you guys so far, man. And I've really enjoyed my time with you guys and you let me just on the air, letting all of us just on the air, just kind of, uh, airing out our grievances, man. And, uh, no matter how this thing ends tomorrow, man. Couldn't have done it without you guys, man. So, uh, really appreciate y'all, man. Let's get this dub, dude. Let's send these dubs back home to San Francisco. Let's light the beam. Let's hit the sleepy time all over Curry, man. It's about time we put him to bed. So, you guys have a good day, man. Thank you. Thanks for the call, Steven. No, that would be funny. I don't think there's anybody on the team that would do it. <laughs> 
But if somebody did the night night, Malik might off the bench. Yeah, he might off the bench. He would be the only one, though. He would be the only one who's like got the gusto to do it. I don't think mm-hmm. like I mean, De'Aaron's not doing it. How could Sabonis get back? I want Sabonis so, to do something to Draymond, man. Sabonis get back at Draymond. Won't do anything. Do like a the stomp yeah, flail just or something stomping like on that. the floor. Yeah, that would be yeah. awesome. He just takes his shoe off and throws it at Draymond. <laughs> or like Mason Jones lays down and Sabonis like pretends. Yeah. To Mason stomp Jones on would it. do something. Yeah. <laughs> Mason Jones would definitely do something. I could honestly, I could see De'Aaron. The problem is it's a nine ten, right? So the, that's the reason I don't think it would get crazy. Right. Also, it's his business partner. But that's why I think he could, if it wasn't a 9-10 and it was an actual playoff series, I could see De'Aaron doing the night-night. But he's not going to do that in a 9-10. Probably not. And, I, yeah, Draymond on his pod is definitely going to, he's going to throw back, oh, y'all do that in the play-in, but y'all didn't have that same energy (laughs) in the offs. So, yeah, no, no thanks. No thanks for that. No thanks for Draymond releasing a podcast this entire, I just. He's going to be potting in Golden 1. Literally, yeah. From the bench. Every time he goes to the bench, he's just going to, Steve Kerr is going to pass him a mic and he's just going to live record from the bench. Hey, thanks to Volume for allowing us to do this live (laughs) show during the game. 916-339-1140. Let's get to Dwayne. Wants to be part of the conversation. What's up, Dwayne? What you got for us? Hey, what's up, fellas? Um, You know, I saw the last game against the Suns and Sabonis came up soft. Mm-hmm. At the end, man. So he's already in playoff mode, bro. And then you throw Kevon Looney into the mix and Draymond Green, bro. He don't have that, bro. He's a finesse guy. He sides away from contact. His numbers say something different, bro. But it's one of those weird things where you got to dig deeper. Um, without Monk and without Herder scoring, um, they're going to let De'Aaron get his, and they're just going to be all over Sabonis. So. I feel like you guys, I'm still going to go back to the point that you guys should have made some moves at the trade deadline and got some toughness like a Patrick Beverly, a PJ Tucker, even a Dylan Brooks, bro. You know what I mean? Somebody who's going to take the hard foul and, um, and get tough because you guys aren't getting fouls. When you do get fouls, you don't make the free throws. Like it's a mess, bro. And Sabonis, he's going to get exposed tomorrow night, bro. So I want to know what you guys think about that. Thanks for the call, Dwayne. I mean, in my mind, I feel like the worst is over. OK, you you didn't do what you were supposed to do. Right. It was a really tough season. This was a season where, honestly, maybe it's not a bad se- Maybe it's not a bad season for the Kings to underperform because so many teams were so much better. Now, Monty McNair, his feet are going to be held to the fire. Mm-hmm. Win or lose tomorrow night, whenever this thing ends, he's going to have a lot of questions to answer because at best you're coming in as an eight seed. Sure. So. If you're if you're trying to find the positives, I would say, hey, at least we now know we're not good enough in this new Western Conference, so we have to make some moves. Kevon Looney hasn't really been playing that Kevon. much. I don't know if he's going to if if Kerr is going to call on him because of how well he played, but the game has kind of passed Kevon Looney by, yeah. and really it's been tra- Trace Jackson Davis. I'm more con- whether it's Kevon. Or Davis, I think Kevon is just going to say, "Hey, this is what I did against him last season." So that it were it doesn't matter who it is, you're going to get that same type of play, and you're going to and and on the other end, Sabonis is going to have to worry about that's that's the bad thing. You're going to have to worry about Trace a lot more than you ever had to worry about Kevon Looney offensively. Sure. So I I do think it's going to be tough, and you know as Draymond said, they're a pattern team and they want to get into their sets. I still think that ultimately. Sabonis is going to get opportunities to do what he does and maybe not scoring, but passing the basketball. It's all based on whether or not these guys are going to hit shots. That's how it is. <laughs> the caller Dwayne there. I just, I, I got a lot. I, I don't know how you could say Demonis Sabonis is not a, a physical guy. I don't know how you yeah. could say he's soft. I don't know how you could say he shies away. Well, he said from they, so he was not a Kings fan. He said yes, they multiple I, times. I definitely clocked that as well. And yeah. yeah. So he, he's definitely on the, you know, he tried to be a double agent there and it's fine, mm-hmm. but um, yeah, absolutely. We can warrior fans can call in all they want, but you know, Demonis Sabonis, if you want to say he doesn't show up in the playoffs, that's one thing that does not mean he's soft. Right. That does not mean he shies you away. From he's con- limited. He's limited. Ways. Absolutely. But it, softness is not a question. That's almost like, you're, you're stereotyping like European players or something as, as just automatically being soft. Sabonis is 
the most physical player in the NBA period. Uh, it's not a matter of being afraid of going into those guys. It's a matter of, and there's a difference between soft and passive. I would say Sabonis is too passive. And if you want to say that soft, go ahead. I would just say he thinks too much about getting others involved and sometimes doesn't really view himself as a scoring option or as a lead scoring option. And I would say, I mean, I, I will have to see how the matchup actually ends up panning out, but I don't think Sabonis should be worried at all about Trace Jackson Davis. I feel like he's dealt with much better centers, especially here recently. Like yeah. it's not like Trace Jackson Davis is in the the top 15 of centers in the NBA. And not not that Kavon Looney was either. Kavon Looney right. absolutely dominated that matchup. But again, I just don't know if Trace Jackson Davis's skill set necessarily is one that's I would pick to go against Sabonis. Sabonis is going to get the ball in the post if he gets matched up with T Trace Jackson Davis and just back him down. I don't know if Trace Jackson Davis can take that. Well, he's not, he's not a small, he's not a small, he's dude. not small, so but he's also I, I six, eight. And Sabonis is legit big and pushing around yeah. guys who are much bigger than Trace Jackson. Davis. It just always worries me when it's something I haven't seen before. Yes. And that's, that's totally. And, and yeah, with yeah, someone who seemed to have the book. In yeah. Kevon Loon. Absolutely. So that's what worries yeah. me. But yeah, he, he has not. Sabonis hasn't seen. Trace Jackson and Trace Jackson has not seen yeah, that shoulder. Bones. They have not <laughs> seen the shoulder. Larry, hold on. We will get to you in a bit right when we get back and continue the conversation on the Kings and Warriors. Sals and Watkins, Sacktown Sports. The NFL's leading rusher plays here. Got a handoff to McCaffrey. Walks in the end zone. Handoff to McCaffrey. Takes it right down to the goal line. He does his thing again. McCaffrey goes in motion right. Backwards pass led by Juszczyk. A block there. Hurdles the man. 10, 5, touchdown! C! You can hear all of Christian McCaffrey's touchdowns on your home for 49ers football. Sacktown Sports. Sacramento weather is brought to you by R.C. Willie Home Furnishings. I'm Tamara Berg in the KCRA 3 Weather Center. Your Monday will include a mix of sun and clouds. We'll call that partly sunny today, along with a light north wind just under 10 miles per hour. Afternoon highs, low 70s, and overnight lows in the low 50s. Get the latest forecast on the KCRA 3 News and the KCRA 3 app. If you need flooring, now is the time to buy during R.C. Willie's semi-annual flooring event. For just 10 days, you can save up to 40% on select carpet styles and pay just $39 for installation. R.C. Willie, your home, your way. Guys, did you know your testosterone affects everything in your system, including how you feel and perform every day? Right now, Revive Men's Cell Sacramento will check your testosterone for free. Knowing your T level is the first step in understanding if you have low T. Your testosterone level impacts your energy, libido, sleep, weight, hair loss, mood, and even ED. Maintaining an appropriate T level can change your whole life. Most men start to see changes in their hormone levels in their 30s. Get your T-levels checked today by local, experienced, and trusted men's health experts. They're in Midtown in the Cal Sutter Medical Building and also offer telemedicine appointments. Plus, with free shipping directly to you, Revive takes the hassle out of treating low T and ED. Schedule your free testosterone test, free exam, and free consultation today. Call Revive Men's Health at 916-365-4566. That's 916-365-4566 or visit revivementshealth.com. Kevin Lewis of National Garage Door. Whether you need to repair a broken spring, install a new opener, or buy a quality Rainer door, National Garage Door is here for you. Call us today to see how we can transform your house with a new garage door. 638-4554 National Garage Door. Are you tired of your tee shots ending up in the adjoining fairway while the rest of your foursome is hitting it down the middle? Well, experts will tell you that being properly fitted for golf clubs will help you strike your drive center cut. The Hagen Oaks Player Performance Studio and its team of trained PGA professionals are ready to help you get rid of your banana balls and duck hooks. Hagen Oaks Indoor Outdoor Player Performance Studio fittings are available seven days a week. Make yours today by calling 916-808-2531. That's 808-2531. Country in the Park is back May 17th and 18th at Cal Expo with Brantley Gilbert, Dustin Lynch, Jay Cohen, Walker Hayes, and more. Tickets start at just 46 bucks. Country in the Park May 17th and 18th at Cal Expo. For more information, visit CITPFest.com. Brought to you by Tough Shed, new dog treatment sensors, and Raising Cane's Chicken Fingers. 
So here's a fact. 85% of the population will suffer from foot pain in their lifetime. That's almost everyone. So you'd think there'd be plenty of healthy long-term remedies, but there just aren't, right? Hi, I'm Dan from the Good Feet Store. You know, people come in all the time sharing the same frustrating story. Bought this, tried that, been there, done, whatever, all different kinds of things, but all with a similar result. Nothing. A discouraging and endless cycle of disappointment. If this rings a bell, don't despair. There is hope. If you think you've tried everything, you probably haven't tried Good Feet Art Supports from the Good Feet Store. They're designed to relieve, even eliminate, the pain commonly caused by certain foot conditions like plantar fasciitis, bunions, flat feet, and others. Plus, provide better balance and increased comfort. See what we can do for you with a free arch support fitting. Just stop in or schedule an appointment. With over 200 stores, there's likely one in your neck of the woods. Find yours at goodfeet.com. Everybody needs good feet. Increase leads and get more customers. We create tailored digital marketing strategies that deliver results. On your next campaign, aim higher. Go to aimyourdigital.com and get started today. Aimyourdigital.com. Hey there. Wanted to take a moment of your time so I could talk to you about insecurity. I could talk to you about confidence. I could talk to you about girth. Yeah, what? Girth? Yeah, okay. Let me tell you about the Upsize Clinic at UpsizeMatters.com. My good friend, Dr. Jack, and his friend, Dr. Pash in San Francisco, have a safe, effective, long-lasting doctor-performed procedure. It's non-surgical, virtually pain-free. Now, listen, girth is consistently ranked as the most important attribute. What Dr. Jack and Dr. Pash are offering is a free consultation. The procedure can be done on the same day as your consultation and get that confidence back. Reset in the bedroom with your partner. Financing is available. It's very private. It's very discreet. Available in Roseville with Dr. Jack and San Francisco with Dr. Pash at UpsizeMatters.com. That's UpsizeMatters.com. Sacktown Sports. Call or text at 916-339-1140. One word to describe the King's season. We've had a lot of more so negative words, but hey, when you find yourself in the nine seed, I, I understand that it can be hard to stay positive. And how confident are you in the Kings from the 916, Chris, the mom, don't let that interview fool you. That Kaminga may not be 100%. We got to be ready for everything from Chris. Yeah, I, I agree. And Kaminga did play. So in theory, he's just going to feel better than he did, even in that last game against the Jazz when nobody played. Will his will he be as good offensively? Who knows? But I think it's going to be all hands on deck. Larry's been hanging out during the break let's get to him right now larry what you got for us uh two or three things guys i think that some of the people overanalyze this season the kings are equal to or slightly better here's why Sabonis so set records more than he did a year ago has played like a, and he is a tough guy like you've been saying he is not weak the second thing is uh we've seen a improvement in keegan this year, uh, sort of a breakout. I think next year he's really going to go. Mm-hmm. Uh, Aaron's played a great, had a, another very good year. We lost, we lost uh, the sixth man of the year in the last ten or twelve games. We would have won at least three more games. Wouldn't be in the play-in. We'd be in the playoffs, seven or eight, if we would have made. Here's one weakness, though. Of uh, course, we've had Herder out. Also, and that's hurt mm-hmm. because he's in the rotation. He would help the the scoring and the and the and the energy. Uh, even though he's not a great scorer, he's good for ten or twelve, sometimes more. But he plays pretty good defense, and that's hurt us. Monk being gone has really hurt us bad. We would have won at least three or four games more in the last twelve if we had Monk. The other thing, the final thing for me to say is this: if and you guys can pull up the records on this. But I've kind of kept track. If we were shooting 76% in the middle of the pack on free throws this year, we would have had near 50 wins. We would have, we would be near last year's third spot in the West, 
maybe the fourth, we'd be right up with the Pacific Division with the Clippers if we would have just shot average free throws all year long instead of 71% being in last position. So when you look at the team in, in, as a whole, you know, we just got to make a few tweaks, improve on a few things, maybe add one more player, get Monk and Herter back, and next year we could go for it all. Thanks for the call, Larry. A very optimistic look at this. And, hey, it sometimes that's necessary. There's been a bit of pessimism today from from everybody or most people that we've heard from and we get it it's tough but i like the i like the optimism whether i agree with what necessarily needs to be done moving forward or not i will say that yeah they probably lost at least two games because of free throws at least two games because of free throws and as far as malik is concerned yeah if you don't lose malik towards the end of the towards the end of the season Maybe you hold on to the sixth spot. It was starting to get hairy before he went yeah. down, so I'm not sure. But I, the way that the Kings have lost, I think that's really affected how people feel. It doesn't change how important Malik is, but the fact that the Kings had leads in, what, three of those games or mm-hmm. both games, well, not. I guess we won't count the Celtics game, but right. when, you had, when you had the – when you had the Knicks game, mm-hmm. and then you had what just happened, in, what just happened multiple times. I mean, even the Mavericks. Even I know Malik Mavs went game, yeah. down. Right. You had the a lead. In, shot. Yeah, right. you had a lead in that game. You you had a lead against the the Suns, and you've mm-hmm. done that against. And I believe there's one more. Was it OKC? OKC. OKC. Yeah. So four of those games you controlled, and then you end up blowing it. Yep. That is what ticked people off. If you went out and and this might be a different conversation, but if you went out and just got blown out, right? All these games, hey, we're missing Malik, we're missing Herder, right? The season's cooked. But the fact that you gave people hope, hope, that's just gonna tick yep. everyone off more, even if ultimately it was what it was always gonna be. Yeah, no, hope is is absolutely the thing that'll kill you a hundred percent of the time. Just starting to believe and then getting your hopes up just to have them be crushed uh, is is really exactly what's happened. I mean, I think a lot of people were nervous. Uh, once Malik went down, that the ship was was gonna sink. But to to see them kind of fight in in some of these games, get big leads, especially in that OKC game, you started c- to convince yourself, hey, maybe we know what it is long term, but mm-hmm. maybe we can survive just for a little bit, buy us some time. Maybe you know, I know we got official word that Malik is is not playing now, but you know, maybe just buy Malik some time. And if you make the playoffs, hey, because here's another thing. Mike Brown said there's no chance Malik's playing today or more than likely probably not in the second play-in game. But if the Kings would have locked down that six seed and Malik's first game would have been on Saturday, who knows? Maybe he still has to miss that one. Maybe he only misses one playoff Some game. point during like, that. Yeah, yeah. It, it could have just pushed down uh, the line and, and you know, maybe you don't feel as bad. So, yeah, I mean, the free throw thing is really interesting. I'm looking at it here. Uh, middle of the pack was 70. The Lakers were 15th in the NBA at 78.2. The Kings were last at 74.5. So we're talking about a 4% difference there in free throws. That could definitely swing a lot of games. And that's something where, you know, I don't know. Is that personnel? Is that, hey, it was a, just a, a really weird year for us from the line? I don't really know how to take it, but I do definitely know that, yeah, if the Kings made – just a, a normal amount of free throws and didn't shoot like they had no idea how to shoot free throws. Mm-hmm. Uh, they probably are are comf- more comfortable than they are right now. They're at least in the 7 8. 916 339 1140. Let's get to George, who wants to be a part of the conversation. What's up, George? What you got for us? Hey, thank, thank you so much for taking my call. Of course. Hey, um, I, I've been listening to you. You guys are right on, and I appreciate your honesty. But let's not forget that. The Kings had problems even when Malik and Herder were healthy. Mm-hmm. And and we lost against the worst teams in the NBA. So, and I'm not trying to degrade Malik Monk or Herder for that matter, but still we've lost. Uh, now, now, I want to put in something here that is not going to be popular, but uh, I know you might, you're going to criticize me, but, I think that Malik right now looks so extremely valuable because we, throughout the year, we had a bad shooting guard. He just, he was not good this year 
at all. We're talking about herder here. Mm-hmm. So what happened is the value for Monk have gone up tremendously. He wouldn't have been as valuable if we had a good shooting guard. So right now, the Kings have no choice but to overpay Malik Monk to keep him. And at this point, you can't even move Herder. Please talk to me. Yeah, thanks for the call, George. Well, we've had a conversation. And and look, Malik Monk is one of the front runners to win six man of the year. So his value is what it is. But we did talk about, and we said the same thing about De'Aaron. When it comes to being a championship contender, do we think that De'Aaron Fox is a number one on a champ? He's the Kings number one, Mm -hmm. but is he a number one on a championship contending team? Is Malik Monk a starting guard on a championship contending team? We, I believe we spoke with Anthony Slater a while back and he said, I think he could be KCP on the Nuggets. So to answer your question, I'd say yes. Mm -hmm. Would he be scoring like he is with the, with the Kings? No, because they wouldn't need him to. So I do think there's something to what George is saying, but I don't I don't want that to take away from what Malik did this season. Yeah, no, definitely. I, I think uh you know, I, I think Malik's value kind of stands on its own. I, I hear what you're saying that it it shines brighter because Kevin Herter isn't playing well. And so when Malik comes in, it's almost like a breath of fresh He's air ba- of basically like, a starter. Exactly. He was giving you starter scoring yes. because you weren't getting it from Kevin Herter. Exactly. So, you know, I, I hear what you're saying, but um, yeah, I mean, I, I ultimately think that Malik kind of stands for himself. I actually, you know, you, you were talking about George's first point earlier. If, if you want to talk more on that, if you have anything more on that of just the Kings have essentially, like you said, tricked off a lot of games with Malik, even out yes. there. Yeah, exactly. I mean, those games where it was the Hornets and the Pistons right. and the Blazers, that wasn't, you know, there's no excuses for that. Right. There's no excuses yeah. for that. And I have, uh, I looked it, into it yesterday because me and Frankie were talking before the game uh, of how many times the Kings had blown those games against the teams that we just have kind of let go. So I looked this up yesterday. Uh, yesterday, the Kings were entering that game against Portland as 16 and a half point favorites. The Kings had lost three outright lost three games this season when favored by 10 plus. That was uh, January 2nd against Charlotte. They were favored by 15 February 7th versus Detroit. They were favored by 13 and a half and March 26th at Washington. They were favored by 11 and they lost all those games. That that Washington one because of the timing. Yes, that might have been the worst one because yeah. that was when things were getting tied. March twenty sixth, and Malik played. Yep, in that he game, he sure did. He so sure did. That just is what it is. All of those games from the two hundred nine. How quickly we expect great things from a team that only made a leap last season. This season has been frustrating at times, sure, but we haven't had more than thirty nine wins since two thousand four. A little bit of perspective, which is needed, but you still need. First of all, the season isn't over, it's not, and you still need to move forward i feel like that feeling is going to go away in the summer you have to make moves Probably. in the summer mm-hmm. because you're just watching other teams who did stink as well yep. and now they're getting better and are becoming better and memphis you. is going to be good next and year too. i've been trying and, to warn y'all and san antonio and, is and san on the antonio. there's a those are less teams that you could count on as yep. as w's crosstalk when we return Sal's and watkins sackdown sports They had never been in the playoffs in the same season, let alone play one another in a playoff series. That all changed last year in a first-round seven-game classic. Now, the rivalry continues Tuesday night in the 9 versus 10 play-in game. Winner moves on, loser goes home. Kings, Warriors, Tuesday night at 7, on your home of the Kings, Sacktown Sports. Capital Casino has been serving the greater Sacramento area in the same convenient downtown location for over 20 years with plenty of close by well-lit parking monitored by security staff and offering the most variety of table games in the region in a safe and friendly environment. Best food, best service, and the best action, that's Capital Casino. For more information on tournaments and gaming, check out their website at capital-casino.com. And please remember to gamble responsibly. 1-800-GAMBLER. Thinking of remodeling your home? Say goodbye to endless internet searches and visit Subcontractors United. Find a list of three pre-qualified and licensed contractors in each home service category. 
From cabinets to landscapers and everything in between, Subcontractors United makes finding qualified contractors free and easy with no accounts to set up. Visit subcontractorsunited.com and experience the joy of stress-free home improvement. Save time and money at subcontractorsunited.com. I lock up my Old Spice Fiji aluminum free dry spray to keep that 24-7 lasting freshness safe for myself. Fresh coconuts, palm trees in the wind. It's like catching waves in Fiji. Actually, I just talked myself into a refreshing spritz of Fiji. My Old Spice is missing! No! Progressive knows finding your new home was a dream come true. You wanted a walk up with central air and a skylight, and you found it. Now, every Friday night, you get to fall asleep to the sound of your downstairs neighbor's dance parties. Progressive can't save you from your noisy neighbors, but we can save you money when you bundle your home and auto with us. Get a quote at Progressive.com. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company affiliates and other insurers not available in all states. Oh, honey, it's our favorite Leaf Filter Trusted Pro, Matt. Matt, come in, come in. Hi, Mrs. Sparks. You wanted me to stop by? Is everything okay with your Leaf Filter Gutter Protection System? Okay. Of course, silly. We wanted you to stop by for dinner as our way of thanking you. Yes, to thank you for that free gutter inspection, the free estimate, and uh, what was the other thing? That lifetime guarantee. Well, Mr. and Mrs. Sparks, those are just Leaf Filter's policies. Everyone who calls Leaf Filter gets a trusted pro to come out for a free gutter inspection and estimate. And every Leaf Filter installation comes with a lifetime guarantee. So it's not just us? No, sir. We don't want anyone to worry about clogged gutters ever again. You mean everyone gets this level of service? Everyone. They just need to visit leaffilter.com slash build to schedule their free inspection. Okay, okay, but you must be starving. You work so hard. Ready to love your gutter protection as much as we do? Visit leaffilter.com slash build and get up to 30% off today. See representative for warranty details. Promotion is 20% off plus a 10% senior or military discount. One discount per household. Slightly stupid. Live in concert. Saturday, April 27th, 7.30 p.m., the venue in Thunder Valley. With special guest, Fortunate Youth. For tickets, visit ThunderValleyResort.com. Don't miss Slightly Stupid, live. Welcome to a brighter future with Aztec Solar, serving Sacramento since 1980. Everyone knows that solar saves money. How much? The answer is a few clicks away. Visit yourpowersavings.com. It's fast, easy, and reliable, giving you instant insight into your potential savings. I used to pay $400 a month to the power company, and that $400 a month added up to $48,000 over the past 10 years. That all changed when I switched to solar with Aztec Solar. Now it's your turn to stop overpaying for electricity. Calculate your solar savings right now at yourpowersavings.com. And Aztec Solar will email or text you how much you'll save every month. Plus, we've got an exclusive offer for you. Get your solar electrical system for just $9,995 cash price after incentives. Don't wait. This deal won't last forever. Visit yourpowersavings.com today and take the first step towards energy independence with Aztec Solar. Made a Chevy saves you 10000 off MSRP on every new 2024 half-ton Silverado, LT, RST, and LTZ in stock after rebate. Over 50 to choose from. Exclusive all-in-stock pricing at madeachevy.com. Together, let's drive. See you for details and 3024. Live and local. Live and local. This is Sacktown Sports. Joined by Whitey Gleason of the Drive Guys. Hello. And yeah, Whitey, it's been, you know, one of those one of those days where I think everybody just this kind of is what it is. Either you, you win and you get a little bit of bragging rights against the Warriors, or you lose and it's somewhere you've been before. But if you do win, hey, you get an opportunity against the Lakers if they lose or to finally avenge the house of horrors against the Pelicans. But Oof. yeah, I would say people don't feel too confident. There might be some bravado out there, but I don't know how confident everybody's feeling. This isn't 
probably the correct way to look at it. But I honestly, I'm still having a hard time with Friday. I'm still getting over Friday. Mm -hmm. That was a debacle. Yeah. You know, the way they yeah. ended that game. The and I know it's like, and... well, what are you going to do? And you move on and you got to play the game. I understand that. But just that was that was unbelievable. The yeah. Four I... point lead in the ball with a minute to go. Well, I had text like, Chris. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. And, and, and we didn't have the show, obviously, because right. that was Friday. But that Sabonis play, yeah. I mean, it kind of got glossed over because now we roll right into the plane. But yeah, terrible. Yeah. Horrible. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Why? What did you think of them? Like, they were very, very vocal after the game. Tiaran and Mike Brown, like, that was a foul. That was a foul. Nothing else matters because that was a foul. I, I mean, I, I just, to me, I didn't I like just, it. I didn't like it. I mean, I'm I, sure if, if he really did get fouled, you know, I understand the frustration. That's the thing. I understand the frustration. Yeah. But then it, it just looks like excuse making mm -hmm. when they gave that game away. Yeah. So. Anyway, I'm still I'm still having a hard time with that. Yeah, no, and fans are gonna ha fan however they, they yeah, please. But are you surprised by? I mean, and maybe we have a bad gauge of it, but it, it seems to me like not a lot of people have um, a lot of hope. I don't want to. I don't know what the right term is, but I don't know how many people believe in the Kings' chances of taking down Golden State. Are you surprised by that? No, I give fans credit. I, you know, you have smart fans here. And obviously, I think I heard somebody was mad at you guys today because you had said if they try to get into right. a shootout, uh, yeah, shootout, then they they have like a one in 10 chance that someone got mad at that. So I appreciate both. appreciate the optimism. But I think the fans here are, you know, they, they get it. They understand how difficult it is mm -hmm. from the nine hole. Although historically, I think half of the nines have gotten in and half have been out. But this is a very daunting task. So I don't think anyone's like, well, I'm not watching. Right. But I understand the pessimism. I think it's just easier to be pessimistic because I, at this point, you'd rather be surprised and get to make fun of your Warriors <laughs> uh, fan friends than go in with the bravado. Not have, There's nothing to be cocky about because yeah. you don't have Malik Monk and right. you don't have Kevin Herter. So I, I don't see a lot of, yeah, you come into our house. Yeah this that and the other because they sleeping on us no yeah. but yeah but no and and to be <laughs> fair whitey and somebody did mention this chris we didn't say this early in the show but somebody did mention hey they blew leads but they did blow leads the kings to some top seeds sure right, right. They, it's not like they did lose to a bunch of bums right like they had been earlier in the season they did yeah. lose to some good teams right. for whatever it's worth but you we the way that the kings have limped into the nine seed i i don't i i can't really understand why anybody would be overly confident unless they're just going to get hot and not cool off the problem is they've been cooling off from the three-point line at the worst times yeah just this team you know if there's ever a team where you really don't know no matter what you think it's this team but let me give you a, a glimmer of optimism here if you need it um as you guys said you know no malik that's going to be tough well if you remember january 25th uh the kings in golden state San Francisco, they won by one point. Malik only scored four points in that game. So how did they win? Do you remember? Do you remember who went off? And that was the one without... It was 134 to 133. Right. That yeah. was without De'Aaron, right? No, De'Aaron, he had 29, but he was not the leading scorer. I see. Harrison Monk Barnes? was too... Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, that Barnes was scored 39! That yes. was a revenge score. Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. Yep. Need him. Need him to, yeah. to bring something... On on uh, tomorrow, oh my God! But that's what tomorrow. we that's what we were talking about as far yeah. as hey, if the if the Kings beat the Warriors, how much better will it make you feel about this season? If HB does what he did against the Warriors last time to send the Warriors packing, yeah. who moved on from him all those years yeah. ago, it's a new movie. How much how much better would it make you feel about HB? I mean, probably not incredibly better from a big picture, yeah. but in a vacuum. Thanks, HB. Thank you. He yeah. made seven of 12 threes in that game. Whitey, he was doing the dream shake on the baseline. He was making middies. He, it was, I'd never seen anything yeah. like it. Uh-huh. They've got no answer for him. Makes me wonder how earlier this year, somebody in this room right now told me that uh, Juan Toscano Anderson was better than Barnes. Uh, Drive wow. guys up next. Wow. <laughs> Whitey Gleason and Kyle Draper with our guy, Jay. We will talk to you tomorrow. Until then, thanks to Nate. Thanks to all the fans and callers and listeners. Until then, secure the bag, light the beam.